Greetings and good day, YouTube. How are you doing today? I myself am pretty excited to continue where we last left off in Path of Exile. We are not going to be continuing with Act 8 for the time being. What we are going to be doing is we are going to be actually doing a little bit of the heist stuff because we have plenty of them. And I want to see what heists are like, do a little bit of... Uh, experience grinding if you will for the heists as well as just like see what they're like because we have yet to succeed or complete the heists um at some point in the future i probably will be getting all the uh dash tabs because i can keep this stuff well organized but like it's 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 going to be rough for inventory management wise. Also, I was saying something about grinding out six link body armor. I'm amazed we have three of these. But the only area I could find where you could grind these out outside of the prison, I think. Uh, I'll, I'll watch that later, Yuri. I think that there are specific maps where you can grind this out. I'll look that when we get to maps in the future, though. Regardless of that, we've learned a lot over the last couple of days uh, playing this. I probably won't be playing this Thursday because I'll be stuck in Elden Ring. Just a little FYI or a notification thing. Because we are... Well, I am extremely hyped for that. As for that link, Yuri, I will check that out. Possibly after we get through a heist or two. Uh... Be sure to keep that in your back pocket for later in case the chat rolls over and I forget, but... Trust me, I understand about how fucked up society can be. It's just right now in the moment, I think instead of, like, re-tearing the wound open, we'll, we'll chill for a while, have a good time in Path of Exile, How's business? and go from there. Anytime. Mm-hmm. A client wishes to use... Mm-hmm. How do I do these again? The Wayfinder. Prepare heist. Just don't get in my way. We should be a little bit over leveled, so we should be able to do this uh, heist relatively easily now. Hopefully. Reckon I'll have a night out with the lads after this one. Can't remember the last time I blacked out. Hear that? We ain't alone. That's the place fine. is crawling with guards. You're here to make sure they don't kill us both. Hopefully, this time they won't. Especially because we have a couple of uh, cast while channeling skills. Too easy. So, fairly confident in our capabilities to demolish everything that comes in our yeah, path. Go on. You got him. Also, we should probably summon our Reaper brother. Brother. Link, and I'll pick any locks that get in our way. I will say I'm pretty excited because lock. earlier today I was. Yeah. Uh, setting up the yeah i'm doing normally i'm a procrastinator right but like what i've been doing lately is i've been like screw it let's just let's just try and get stuff done as soon as i possibly can so while off stream i've been setting stuff up so i could actually play through a lot of my older games in the future and i literally just got done uh getting metal gear solid 4 set up Good. So I'm excited about bad. that. Looks like they're having a couple of uh, server issues. Yep. 
Yeah, they're having a little bit of server side issues, it looks like. That's a little bit of a shame. I'll go through and check out all the loot before we actually take the uh the prize possession the vase or whatever the urn not the vase the urn wasn't worth it was it These contracts are a complete and utter pain in the ass. I mean, until we activate the alert level, we're fine. Right? But holy shit, are the alert levels, like, or are the, the, the fights kind of annoying? Actually need to pay attention to this because even a level 45 heist which we're level 62 our perks must not be exactly how they need to be for stuff like this that or we're just getting fucked on easy Outside of the currency items, not a lot of stuff there. Another unique, a unique cobalt jewel. Today would be a great day to succeed in this heist, yeah? Try and stay back. The way we came, rookie. You do your job, I'll do mine. Do it, Mike. 
Oh shit, that was the wrong way. That was kind of dumb. I think we're dead. Maybe not. You do your job, I'll do mine. Rude. Take your time with these heists, apparently, because there are so many enemies. Well, this way. We're still breathing, Rook. So you ain't done half bad. Take that urn to fell. What up? Oh, I know who owns this. I love that. Oh, I know who owns this. Nineteen, twenty-five, twenty-two, twenty-six, eight, seven. 20 fire, 20 fire, duration, physical damage. We can sell this because we already have a copy of it. More fire damage. Rolling magma. Huh. Weird. Attack speed, axes. Maximum life, projectile speed. Well, that's actually kind of useful. Not gonna lie. Ah, completed your first contract. Well, uh, nearly. A contract isn't technically complete until the goods are in the hands of the client. You give me the urn, and I'll give you the markers you've earned. I yearn for the urn to give you what you've earned. <laughs> what fun. Don't go spending your markers all in one place. <laughs> that, my friend, is a little joker. <laughs> you see, they're only good here. Uh, so to imply you could spend them elsewhere is very humorous indeed. <laughs> I like you, Exile. Don't do anything stupid and ruin that. I absolutely love, absolutely love Farewell. Faustus. Faustus is great. I hope you enjoyed your first job. I did. Casts We're gonna do heists for a while. He did not outright I think. speak poorly of you, which for cast means a great deal. The items you procure should be exchanged with Faustus for markers. Mm -hmm. In addition to allowing entry onto ring premises, markers can be redeemed with the residents of the ring for various goods and services, including blueprints. Please do not hesitate to speak to me if you need further elucidation. I suggest you return to your ordinary duties, whatever they may be, until another contract crosses your path. My favorite part is some of these contracts you just slaughter Though people and find a contract. Ring to keep spinning, okay, sure. We are skilled professionals, and skilled professionals wish to test the limits of their skills. The ring has obtained the layouts of locations known to hold objects of great value. 
Naturally, these locations are heavily protected and patrolled. And to pull off a job in such a location requires a team. The boss is happy to provide blueprints for these highly secure locations and access to the skills and resources needed to strip such a location bare. For a price. Complete contracts, earn markers, and you will be able to utilize those services. Cool, 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 cool. Stay out of trouble. I shall do this. Need a trim? If you do so desire. Do a blueprint detail. Don't have a blueprint. Need a trim? Listen, I don't want to be a naysayer, but before you started coming around here, we didn't have none of this god nonsense. They were Sorry. just characters Sorry. and stories. Ways to get the kiddos to eat their greens. And that was fine. In fact, I preferred it that way. Now, we've got characters coming to life. And then you're killing them. You're killing our heroes. Tukohama was one of the good guys. You better finish what you started. Well. Was he? Be here. Was he really? Find something to sell? Welcome. Almost got him leveled up on that. Deception, agility, brute force, demolition, engineering, and trap. What you need? So it looks like they have no inventory. Thought so, just checking to see. Cool. Probably don't have to interact with them a lot. Just go to your little heist locker. And then go from there to the bunker. Got another 45. Splitting contract engineering. A moderate vault. The smuggler's den. That was a pretty high level. Underbelly, we got a 46 from the underbelly. Hexproof monsters. The heist fee is higher. Less we less flash charges. That's gonna be interestingly painful. But item quantity and rarity is higher. Much higher. Greetings. Just tell me where to build. Oh, okay. So we need higher level contracts for blueprint reveals. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. We can account for all the variables. No deviating. Bunker's relatively similar, it looks like. Like it's the same layout every time, but just a little bit different here and there. They need a tactical error. Those guys hurt. Just a better plan than the void of this. Got you. It's all good. Enjoy your game, and until next time, take care and have a good one. at all.
check. Oh, I've got just the contraption for this. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, these contracts, these heists, whatever you want to call them, are a little bit different from a regular map. Mind you, I could probably deal with regular maps or uh, regular missions the same way. Where, like, I go forward, pull back a little bit, go forward, pull back a little bit. I believe they call that loot. <laughs> it is, but not really loot that I'm screaming for. Then again, it probably is a good idea to pick up some of the the loot. Sell it, make some good profit off of it. And again, we're getting currency items while doing this, so. We need a tactical method. Not good at all. We've been sighted. That almost was a death. Trying to do this without dying once. How the hell are we gonna do with that shit? We gotta just run through, I guess? Arena plate, nothing really screaming to us. I want to kind of open. Wait, can we open that without the alarm going off, or does the alarm go off no matter what? Okay. No time to waste. With all that racket. Oh, you're going to have to because I can't stop the racket.
plan, execute success. I love logic. Nice. We, uh, we did it. Ahoy there. I'll get it where it needs to go. Happy hunting. Never. Five hundred and seventy one armor. Oh, this is armor and evasion. So weird that the way it works is you have to buy currency items with other currency items and you can't sell it for a currency item. I kind of get it though. What does this give us? Okay, cool. Go over to rare of four. The four linked. Helmets. Some weapons. Good luck to you. Last one I think we'll do. Hmm? Another engineering one. Engineer reporting. So these contracts do cost money and stuff like that. You do know what you're doing, yes? Feel it without setting off the alarm. Anyways. Oh, these are like assassins and stuff like that. Okay, cool. They should have thought this through. Not good. Not good at all. We're fine. We go through and kill all the guards and then go from there. You put the axle, then you take the ball bearing out. We've been sighted. A simple solution. Greetings and good days. So let's tell you today. It's been a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, how, how have you been? What have you been up to? We survived. Nice.
little bit focus mode because I'm, I'm new to these heists and they're a little bit different from uh, the overworld stuff you do but I should be able to keep up with chat nice nice you are one tough cookie Oh, you have life regen, that's why. That sucks. Hope it, uh... Hope it eventually gets better. We need a tactical error. Depending on what it is exactly. Hey, thank you for contributing 500 biddies to the local treasury. I don't know. Regardless, I very much appreciate it and I do thank you. prevent us from taking it it is ours Ooh, we have a better sword right now but that one could actually get good good oh greetings and good day adam bomb how are you today yes yep we're gonna be doing a long play of path of exile for today and tomorrow that means we're probably gonna play this for the next like five hours because uh thursday 6 p.m elden ring that's probably the only game I play for about a week. And I'm gonna play it for a long time on the release day. So. Same. Like. Less than 20. Uh, less than 48 hours. Less than 48 hours. We've been sighted. I just, well, for me, for PC, we for me. For all the, it's, I wish they had it set up to where games released at the same exact time for everything all around the fucking globe. But no, they have to have, like, the time zone BS. They have to have everything set up to where it releases at different times and stuff like that. God, it sucks. Even if, even if I get the game first from where I'm located at, I still think it sucks. That other people either have to wait or other people get it before... This person or that person. This is this is I think the third heist that I'm actually doing right now. I'm just going through and kind of like figuring out how exactly these work and still in the experiment phase of this game. Phase one complete. Acquire the treasure. Did I get all the chests? I need to make sure I got all the chests first. I want to make sure I don't miss out on any good loot. Also, level up these gems that I can level up. Probably not gonna have items that really sing to me right now because it's oh, a low level uh, ice thing for me. But we are getting a little bit of grinding done on our uh, gem. Yeah, I got all the chests. Okay. No 
time to win. Carry the seven. To waste. Oh, oh, can't go through that way. Never mind. The little ladder that was on the thing pulled me. It pulled me. Go, go that way. Yep. Yeah. little loot job as we run by. Don't mind me. I'm starting to learn it's better to just run through and no leave time to waste. than stick around. So, another successful heist. Oh crap, I gotta pay attention to this crap. Did I just go the wrong way? I did. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die for going the wrong way. Oh, that'd be aggravating. That'd be so aggravating to do all that and then die. Because I wasn't paying attention. Well, now that I can focus a little bit on the chat again. Uh... You build the pallet, okay? Does this mean we're friends now? Well, might not be the most fun thing to do, but it is a thing to do, I suppose. Uh, yeah, this this game has definitely drawn me in a lot harder than I thought it would, which I'm I'm glad that it did. This this may be a game that I come back to quite frequently in the future, whenever I find something to sell, have nothing else to play, or what have you. I know who owns this. Hmm. Toodles. I mean, making a bunch of rogue markers, so that's awesome. Twenty three fifteen. Nice, nice. Seven chaos orbs. I need to keep chaos orbs for sure. Cold damage, cold and lightning resistance. I don't know about that. Rarity of items found. Dexterity, energy shield. We have to get our energy shield up a different way than we will. No big deal. Oh no, you're fine. You don't you don't have to apologize. I understand the lurking completely. I was just acknowledging the first the I, I read the second part. I basically I, I glanced at chat, saw Elden Ring, and was like, oh yeah, no, I'm hyped for that too. Uh I saw I think I saw work at work and then Elden Ring, and I was like, I gotta read that after I'm done with this heist. I actually feel like I have to focus just to make sure I don't get obliterated here. What else do we have for heists? We're level 62 right now with 21 experience. It doesn't seem like we actually get experience for doing these heists. Got a bunch of level 50s. Brute force. Trap disarmament. Trap disarmament.
let's do one of the 50 yes. level uh, heists we have. Long as I can bring my gadgets. Contracts level probably too low because of what our current level is. Probably like, oh, it'd be too easy to give you a blueprint. A strong plan is the best path to success. Tougher on the enemies. Just a matter of math. No. Got obliterated on that worm. Might not be able to do this one, unfortunately. That would suck to lose this heist, but eh. It's a learning experience. That's what all this has been so far for me, just learning. It's still frustrating when you get one shot by just. Ran seemingly random shit. I hope they don't expect me to fight. I believe they call that loot. <laughs> Bunch of gems. Oh, someone must do the fighting now. Uh, I don't know. We might not be able to do this one. With what our character set up for, we seem to take a lot more damage than I feel. I'd expect mirror arrow. Okay, we got one of those cards now. Nice. A unique, large hybrid flask. I didn't realize flasks could be unique. It makes sense that they can. Oh, because it's contraband, we can't find out what it can do yet. Understandable. I really want to do this heist now. Perform it. We're gonna we're gonna take this nice and slow then. In that case. Yeah, just get a bunch of kills right now so we can make sure we have enough, uh... Enough charges on our flasks. We've been sighted. For when we inevitably decide to GTFO. Question. Okay. I thought so, I just wanted to make sure. Interesting tactics.
better plan would have avoided this. We survived? I'm trying to think about like what the best best traversal method would be. There's the urn there. I want to get that chest because it's a question mark chest. Hardly a hurdle. Someone must do the fighting now. Interesting tool. Oh, I've got just the contraption for this. This class is on the verge of chiming. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Using, love to see it. We will be detected if we are not careful. Please don't come toward me. Nice. I haven't even used that much in options yet. Sometimes there's a different solution. Sometimes. Wait for them to go this way, and then when they go that way, we'll uh, hit the urn. We need to go south, down. God, this is gonna be. Time to flee. This is gonna be rough. Yeah, 
contract failed. That sucks. Okay, I think we'll get what we're going to do before we do contracts more is we're going to finish up the main story. So, if I'm not mistaken, we're actually on Act 8 right now. Yeah, we are. We're on Act 8. Part 2, Act 8. So, we'll, we'll, uh... Make an adjustment as need be. On the title of the stream. How do you spell that? Dude, how do you spell Marauder? Fuck. It'd probably be better just to say Berserker because that's what we're doing. Plus, I can't think of how to spell Marauder right now, so fuck it. Derping out on that one. Anyways, I think one of the reasons why we're getting killed so easily is because we have a, a very low resistance to. Good to see you in San once again. damage. I wish that we could be greeting under fairer skies, yet this city remains clouded in strife. Lunaris. Eternal goddess of the moon and her sister Solaris of the sun have risen to reclaim what was once their own hmm? Siblings equal in strength mighty twin rivers converging sweeping all before them We are cornered animals Awaiting the deluge that will surely drown us Yet there exists a pair of ancient treasures The sun orb and the moon orb They are our hope our desperation there is nothing else I'll talk to sin first that well after Dirty dark second tongue is the insidious infection that threatens to make septic the great and terrible wound that is sound however any certainty that I had as to her exact whereabouts has been sundered by the sheer stench of her presence we shall have to deduce her location from those who know the area best these locals that cling to San like hungry maggots. Your, uh... If we are to see the dawn of a new era for humankind, the sun must be taught to behave herself. Upon that mighty... Starting to sound a little negative towards Sarn's mortals. Hand and it's right. Solaris burns to consume every single moment of existence. Sparing no thought for life and its needs, she would see the world parched barren before she yields to reason. The sun must be allowed to set so that it may rise again as a blessing, not a curse. Self-loving Solaris, all the light in the world yet blinded by her own pride. Not once did she pause to question the truth of her sister's betrayal. Instead, she gloated over her sister's transgressions Proclaiming herself greater and more honorable than Lunaris could ever be. Mm. I suppose one shouldn't be surprised when a sun deity takes the higher ground. We approach the zenith of our divine hunt upon the bridge that chokes the great wet throat of Sar. Lunaris, in her cold fury, has forgotten that the warming sun of morning is as life giving as the cooling damp of evening. The empire Lunaris dreams of shall be lit by moon and twinkling stars, and life itself shall wither away in that perpetual night. One of two sisters who rule the most populous and powerful of the ancient Asmerian tribes, Solaris was thought to guide the sun across the sky with threads of shimmering gold, whilst Lunaris saw to the wax and wane of moon with a sickle of purest silver. It was a peaceful partnership until the trickster Tang Mazu happened upon the domain, and turning sister against sister, 
he saw to the massacre of thousands, whilst concealing the source of their futile feud beyond all reckoning. Feel no pity for the moon. She is a cold and distant fool, far less radiant than she would suppose. So I'm assuming the last one we gotta kill May humanity flourish. is a uh, big boy himself. San is changing, and so are we who live here. There, there, gone. Tolman. Don't you worry. I love you. I'll think of something. Oh no. San is changing, and so you told me Tolman was gone. You were wrong. I found him. No, Tolman, I never gave up on you. His soul remains, flickering deep down inside. Oh, Tom, and I know you're in pain, but it'll be over soon, I promise. Who are you? Watch yourself. I don't know. Hello. My heart aches for Grigor. I know the battle in which he's engaged. It's like my own. A fight to make sense of life in a land that deems life to be worthless. I don't know where I don't he's think gone, that's supposed to be Tom, man. But I, I think do know he's looking to find himself. He's just crazy, His true unfortunately. Self. As we all must do in our own time. Maybe this I do not know. Hold on. By all accounts, Tarkas Verusa was a ruthless despot, a man to rival even the likes of Dominus. Yet his heart of stone contained one precious scene his love for his wife, Kiara. So when the poor young woman died giving birth to Verusa's son, the grieving Emperor threw aside his great convictions and placed his last hope in Thaumaturgy, in the Ankh of Eternity. Perhaps it was shame that drove Tarkas to lock the Ankh away, to steal such hopes from his descendants. It was he who had asked his people to turn their backs on the oh. ancient hearts. So what right had he to enjoy that which he forbade? Love gave him that right. As I understand it, the Ankh of Eternity was somehow able to return the dead to the full bloom of life. There was nothing necromantic about it. Rather, it was a source of true resurrection. How it came to exist, I honestly don't know. A couple of inscriptions I read treated the Ankh as some sort of gift to Veruso from the Val. But surely the Val were long gone by Veruso's time, weren't they? No matter. Despite the vagaries of the Ankh's origins, Verusa used the Ankh to return his young wife from the deathbed to the wedding bed. The accounts are unanimous on that point. As it was for Verusa's love, I so shall it be for yeah. mine. Don't think it's going to turn out how you want it to, Clarissa. This shit never does. Who's going to replace you, I wonder? You. Oh no, it is Tolman. Maybe if we look at the map, you see it. That's concerning. Apparently, we can talk to him at some point. Good to see you're still soldiering on. With all these gods and past horrors wandering around San, I don't assume anyone's alive and kicking these days. If San wasn't mad enough, now we've got some whip-tongued hag cooking up a stinking curse in the sewers. Took her from her mother-in-law at first. But no, based on my meager historical knowledge, I reckon we have a certain Dodry Dark Tongue to contend with. Nice. Where in blazes is she hiding? I've no idea. So, the only way we're going to catch this witch is by getting our hands and possibly a lot more. And by ours, well, I mean... And truly dirty. And by we, I mean you, of course. Love Hargan. no place for a simple businessman like me. Do us a favor. Hidden to them sewers and track that old hag down. Get her to reveal herself and put her down. Ha! Better your eyes than mine, ain't it? Quite the pretty pair, aren't they? Yeah, it's pretty bloody disturbing. Mm -hmm. That girl was once the sweetest lass I could name. Nowadays she's barking as bat shite over that living corpse of hers. All it would take 
is a quick hard bash with a rock and Tolman would no longer be a problem. You're fucked up. You're fucked up. Needing my eclectic expertise again, are we? Solaris and Lenaris got front and center stage among them folks at the Eternal Empire. Solaris was thought to be the light of leadership, guiding and enlightening each emperor that sat the throne. In practice, most of them emperors turned out to be a bit dim. But then history and theology have never quite seen eye to eye. As for Linares, a goddess of the moon and earth, the mother of dreams and inspiration. Doesn't sound like a bad lady until you consider that dreams harbor nightmares and that inspiration is just one notion shy of insanity. Yeah, this is one of those games where as much as you might want to see like Toman and Clarissa back together again and Clarissa not be completely batshit insane, games like this don't do that. Grigor left without a single word to me, rude bugger. But I suspect his poetic soul has been drawn back home to Izmir. A long journey, but a trip worth taking to find solace among one's own people. Of course, they'll get quite the shock when they see him. Let's hope familiar love is as nearsighted as they say. There are the fine tales Grigor will be able to tell them, of course. Come to think of it, now that Dominus has been knocked off his perch, there's nothing to stop the Izumites from learning a thing or two from Grigor's story. They might even consider invading this jewel and ray class tarnished crown. I certainly hope they have just such an eye for opportunity. A man could make a tidy sum helping said invaders navigate San and its many asms. Anything for a buck, eh? Bring me back something nice, huh? Yeah, I'll try. What do you want? Grigor is the butterfly that has lost its wings to a cruel child. And this place of respite has become a cage for his pain. A breeding ground of bad memories. We spoke, and Grigor shared his resolve with me. He can no longer live with the torment that piety has injected into his heart. Like the warrior poet he is. Grigor has ventured into I would the like to help out Grigor, to find but again, a cure for his body and mind, or die in the attempt. That's probably what's going to end up happening, and it's probably not going to be pretty. The dead do not love the living, and the living cannot love the dead. People fear what they do not understand. I understand Clarissa. I am not frightened of her. I am frightened for her. They walked our earth in the times of great strife. Cruel and hideous shadows cast against the clay wall of ruined abode. Thaumaturge Malachi grew them out of the vain ambitions of his dark imaginings. Emperor Chittis believed the legionnaires belonged to him. That gemline men would beat to the drum of his own crystalline heart. But as the silhouette of the Emperor faltered and fell, burned out by the light of true men, some of the legion remained. The cataclysm turned legionnaire into monster, another mindless man of undeath. Yet this captain seems to have regained his faculties, some of his old warrior intelligence. I worry for the rest of his soldiers, oh, how they shit. may grow from mindless killing machines into something far worse. Oh shit. Go with courage. So where to first? Well, there's only really one way for us to go, I believe, and that is through the sewers. Or not the sewers, the, um... Whatever the hell it's called. Can't think of it. Can't think of the name right now. We'll get to it in a minute, though. Yeah, the, the conduits. Now that are the toxic conduits. Actually, this is different from last time. So, that's why I like this build, because that just felt so good. That was almost our death. Oh.
next perk point we get, I want to try and work on upgrading our uh, reserve so we could have more of the heralds active at one time. Trying to look to see if there's any low level ones. You have a level 36. That poison ground is doing wonders against hurting us. Oh, it's a fun, fun game. The lore is really interesting. The, uh, the different builds you can do are kind of crazy. Like, this is one of those games where I can definitely see myself doing a different build. Like, after I finish the main story, mess around with maps, this will be my main character, and I might set up, start up a another build of this and do, like, a ranged build or something like that, or a minion summon build. Not 100% sure yet, but all I know is it is a fun game. And I look forward to learning as much as I possibly can throughout my time playing it. Take a deep breath, exile. That is the smell of civilized society. Damn it, I press Q instead of fucking one to heal. I like kind of have a blended build like I have a, a let's call it the mutt build so far basically it's just like ooh, interesting interesting anyways basically it has a little bit of everything and I think that's what is causing me to struggle as much as I kind of am I might have to use a bunch of orbs of regret to uh, make a slight alteration in the future. Jack of all trades could work, but it's just amping the difficulty for me a bit. That is what it is. That is what it is doing. You know any other really low levels and stuff? 
Got a level 36 here. But the idea behind this build, how I want it to be, is I want to be able to have all five of the heralds I currently have on me active at one time. Mind you, for the time being, I should probably focus on survivability. Now this is going to be a pain in the ass of a fight. Hopefully we don't die a billion times. Well, shit. We might have to try and run past that. Might have accidentally made it too strong. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we were not going to be able to fight it because of the, uh, what we put on it. That's fine. We made it way too strong. Probably should, again, probably should not have done that in the first place because we have an elemental, uh, hindrance against us right now. Itava, you son of a bitch. We need to go and deal with that. Not the best. But yeah, basically what I'm thinking is I'm thinking I need to Actually, so getting some of those perk points might help us a lot now that I'm thinking about it. Let me let me look at that in a minute. The uh dual wielding. Oh yeah, that's right. I I liked it, but it needs to wait. Dual wielding is not two handed. So, I need to find a large cluster gem that has, like, uh, two-handing, not dual-wielding.
Greetings and good day, logical beast. How are you today? It's going good. We're uh, learning our characters a little squishy. So I'm trying to think of ways in order to make us less squishy. That's the door is cesspool. We want to go in there momentarily. Uh, long story short. Hold on. Let me let me quickly think about what exactly I want. elemental equilibrium. No. I like the art of the gladiator because movement penalties from armor are ignored and we have heavy armor uh that's the like all the skills that we currently have i'm satisfied with soul of steel take 30 percent reduced extra damage from critical strikes i guess we'll just have to keep it on we do we do but the enemies do a lot of damage right now. Also, I didn't want to... Oh, also, the other reason why we're so squishy right now is because we kind of got screwed over. Uh, currently, it shouldn't be like this. But right here, this is the problem. Fire resist, 52%. Cold resist, 0. Lightning resist, 37. And chaos resist, minus 30%. That's because of a scripted event that has occurred in this game. And it reduces your elemental resistance by 30%. So if we come across anything that's not using fire damage, we're kind of fucked. So... I do have lifesteal. I have a bunch of lifesteal, actually. Like, here, let's go through and let's go through our character and see exactly what we have for offense. Uh don't ignore the damage per second because cyclone damage per second is what where it's at, which that's a little bit less than I want it to be, but this is fine for the time being. Uh our accuracy, we need to increase it a little bit because we only have 80% accuracy. That means 20% of our attacks are missing. Uh Attack speed increasing would help us a little bit. Where is it? Is it miscellaneous? Yeah, here we go. Skill area of effect modifier plus 42%. So our skills have a higher area of effect. Main hand life leech from physical attacks 1.6%. Life leech from any attack damage 1.6%. Base maximum recovery per life leech 133, which is 10%. Life leech total recovery per second modifier 300%. Maximum total life leech recovery per second from leech is 306. So we can get 306 life per second. Because our base is 133. Uh, well, it's funny you say that. We have flasks in this game. Bismuth Flask of the Falchion. 35% to all elemental resistances. Even then, we have a 40% increase of damage as well, and a 40% increased movement speed. I d you'll definitely see me use those, and those will look a little bit emptier as we go. So yes, we do, but... It happens so fast sometimes I miss out on the attack thing. And I kind of only save those for like tougher enemies or bosses. Like these guys we don't really need it on because they're basic mooks, right? These guys we might. No, we're good. We're good. Also, uh, let me show off. No, wrong thing. Let me show off this. Harold of Ash. I was talking. Uh, where is 
it? Cyclone, cast while channeling support. Reap and Blazing Salvo. Reap summons a scythe. It's, it'll be hard to see, but basically what you'll see is you'll see a red slash over here. That's scythe, 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 right? That's using our life every time it hits, like every time we use it. And the fireballs you see coming out after that are using our mana. I mean, mine's got four. The herald abilities? These are passive, basically. These are passive actives or active passives where you activate them and it uses mana reservation. So we have 563 mana reserved right now. I want to try and get an ability. I can't remember where it's at right now, but there's one. Not mana mastery. Uh, there's one for reservation mastery somewhere around here that basically makes it to where... Eh, don't know about that one, Chief. Mana Mastery... That's a Vitality... Curse... Physical... Armor... Ah, Reservation Mastery right over here. This. So, in order to get this, we have to get up to here, right? Or get up to here, and then we could get Reservation Mastery, which I don't know how many Reservation Masteries there are. There's got to be a couple of them, because as you can see... Excuse you, I'm... Oh, you're, you're, you're an enemy that we actually have to use our flasks on. Uh, why did you show up? Oh, because you're, you're a unique beast that we can capture. Okay. We're dead. We're dead? We're not dead. Hog. We're dead. Okay. That beast can fuck off. So that's one of the, the mechanics in this game. On certain maps, there's a percent chance on any map you go to that it's going to initiate one of the mechanics of the game right and this mechanic is beast capture mechanic i'll show that off after we capture all these beasts and get a waypoint oh shit give me that Yeah, you can disengage. Oh. Highland Blade. I thought it was Five Link for a second. We'll have to compare these. We'll have to mess... Well, this we can probably just sell it. If we don't feel like using it. But we'll see. We'll see how we feel. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Uh... Yeah, there's, there's attack mastery there. Yeah, most of the reservation mastery is probably going to be up here in the uh, magic section, right? Kind of. See, here's... here's I, I don't know if we would even be able to do it, but I want to try and get as many of the reservation stuff as we possibly can. Because 8% increased damage for each of your aura or herald skills affecting you. That's so much damage if we can get that going on. We're gonna what we're gonna get first is 15% increased mana reservation efficiency from skills, I think. Oh, 
that sucks. I mean, I'm, I'm over here and I'm like, less than 48 hours for Elden Ring, for me at least. I was just talking about how I dislike how much, uh, like everybody has to wait for certain amounts of time before they get their, how do we get the fuck up there? I don't think we do, unless there's a way to get passive skill points. Anyways, uh, I wish that when they released games, there was none of this bullshit where, like, you had to, to wait or delay or whatever for wherever your location was at, you know what I mean? Like, it just sucks. Where the hell is that beast at? Oh, we already captured it. Never mind. Oh yeah, the skill map is very intimidating when you first look at it. It's like, oh god, what the hell is this? But once you start to get a like, okay, I get how this works. Your brain starts to go, all right, what do I need? And then you figure this out and you learn that and you're like, oh, 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 this is how the skill tree, the passive skill tree works. Got it, oh god, one of these. Give me a second, I'm kind of focus mode right now. Okay, so what you saw me just doing there is I was trying to get to the final point of the abyss Because there's these little like bubbles that will pop up on some maps And if you follow the abyss you can get some really good loot. I Hope we were able to get to the final location Otherwise, we'll get some decent loot, but we won't get the chest the abyss chest is what we want Oh, yeah, we are a blender of death doom and destruction so much to where we use reap to chop them up a little bit Use the fireballs to cook them, and then we put them in the blender. It's glorious. And if we didn't have a 30% reduction of our elemental effects, we would be even more dangerous. Also, because I'm starting to, like, really learn how the skills work, we, uh, we're gonna have to get as many orbs of regret as possible and go from there. I'm gonna have to also go back and get all those currency items that I'm leaving behind. Currency items are interesting. Kind of annoying if you think about it. Oh, we're dead. We're not dead. Oh, we, we did get it. We did got the, uh, the astral stroke. Oh, fuck off, you crab. I said fuck off, crab. We got the Searching Eye Jewel, 
Dead Eye, well, whatever. Winter Brand, Portal Scroll. There's so much shit on screen. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. Alright, uh, 40. Get out of here. Anything that's below 40, we're just dropping it. I don't care anymore. Or below 50, I mean. We'll keep this, even though it is below 50. Because those are good ones. Rejuvenating, that's a good one. Okay, if it's not used in a recipe, throw it down here so we don't accidentally get rid of it. Forty-five berserk, destroy it. I know rejuvenating is like these I know corpse detonator I know are kind of special in quotation marks even though it's a part of a recipe bombardier you can find easily enough mind you I could probably make all of these again but wait that's that's 50 we'll keep that gargantuan 49 frost weaver 49 permafrost Fuck it. Bone Breaker. Dynamo. Berserker. We can make storm trider anyways was that a mistake probably do i care not right now that's a problem for future me to worry about smile nice i mean like this like i keep saying this is my first time so i'm just enjoying the uh enjoying the experience I'm gonna have to end up going back to my uh, stockpile with all this crap. I think we're just gonna end up selling that. This we might try and use. We can probably, it's already better than this weapon. This weapon, we got shafted on this weapon in all honesty. We'll have to be quick about it, but I'm so slow when it comes to certain things. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna portal. We're gonna be quick about organization. We're not gonna worry too much about getting a better weapon, not yet, anyways. But we have like 8 to 15 minutes before an instance resets. 8 to 15 minutes. Whatever. Just throw it. Just throw it in there. Screw it. We'll organize later. I don't want this to reset because of the capture beasts thing. Uh... Where the hell's the red, blue, green? Oh, was it not linked? Ah, whatever. Anyways, let's go back a little bit and get make sure we don't miss out on any of that loot. But yeah, I have a tendency to run 
uh, dual wield type melee builds, but I kind of quote unquote picked the wrong character for that. I should have picked duelist. I think I'll make a second character for this and I'll pick, make a duelist, in all honesty. But for now, I'm having a blast with this big fuck off marauder we got going on. Also, as much as I want to use Herald skills, I might have to uh, pull back a little bit on that idea and try and, like, focus on something that'll actually be viable for this. Because I don't know if there's a limit to the amount of perk points we can get or if there's a way we can grind out perk point books or what. You know? So... One of the things I'm going to be sure to do is wait and eventually get all my stuff unlocked, like, the proper way. Like, after I get a couple more perk points and I'm, like, really know how I want this build to go, I'll use Orbs of Regret to get some perk point uh, recovery. And place it exactly where I want it to be. I like the idea of having Herald skills, but... Again, it might not fit with this character, unfortunately. We'll see, though. Who knows? Maybe there's a way to get all the perk points. Also, apparently, Cyclone used to not be a channeling skill. I don't know what it used to be, but apparently it used to not be what it is right now. I'm so glad they changed it. That was a hunt you will not soon forget. You're welcome. Goodbye. All right. We'll, uh, die a bunch to this boss. Hopefully not. Honestly, hopefully not. Because, holy shit. Would that suck to lose all this experience? Like, there's a part of me that's almost tempted to back off. Level grind till we get a level up. And then go from there. But, I think we'll just push forward. Oh, Einhar is great. Einhar is the best. Thank you. Goodbye. We'll have to, we'll have to go to our hideout and talk to some of our people that are chilling in our hideout but yeah some of these voice lines some of these characters has is the best valve why do i feel like this is gonna be bad hello there Okay. What'd that tongue do, though? Avoid the blood bubbles? Yeah, avoid the blood bubbles. Fucking ow! Bitch! Really avoid the blood bubbles? And the that. Avoid that shit. Holy shit. We're gonna lose all of our experience. Holy shit. Okay. We'll see. We'll see who all is in the hideout. These bosses are the types of bosses that I'm most weak against. Because, because they don't summon other enemies for me to deal with. It's just themselves. We almost got her. Gross.
Gross. Once more into the breach, and once more we return victorious. Although I have to admit, I did not relish the sensation of imbibing that foul witch's soul. I felt decidedly unclean. Still, our journey nears completion. To the north lies Highgate, and the cessation of our efforts to extract the Dark Ember from my dearly departed beast. And none too soon. Every hour, Katara's strength grows, and the longer he and the other gods dwell on this land, the less is humanity's chance of survival. Katara can fuck off. Once more into the breach. Okay, waypoint. Perfect. Let's go to our hideout. So, Nico, greetings, Master of the Depths. Not the prettiest spot in Rayclass, but relatively dry and safe as long as you stay in the light. Never cared about a good. Oh, whoops! If you click on it, it they they go away. Anyways, stay in the light. We have a uh, uh, a miner. We've got Lily Roth, God Slayer, who is a is where you get all the damn gems from. It's amazing, right? So anything we want to test out skills and stuff like that, we can just buy them off of her. Greetings. Einhar. That look in your eye. I recognize it. A survivor. Just like Einar. That is my name, Exile. Einar. In my native tongue, it means lone fighter. That is what Einar was for many years. But it is dangerous now to fight alone. Too dangerous. Even for the mighty Einar. We are in the final days of this world, Exile. Of that, I am sure. We survivors must unite, prepare for the end, and delay its arrival as long as we can. So... For that, we will need supplies, weapons, shelter, food. This is where you come in. Visit the menagerie, right? This is where, this is what Einhar's whole thing is, right? You capture those beasts that are randomly on whatever map. You go into the sacrificial chamber, the blood altar. You click on it. And you look at all your recipes you have after you've captured beasts. Currency items, chromatic orbs, jeweler's orbs. You need uh, a certain type of red ranked monster or creature for it. And you need a bunch of any rare creatures, right? Unique item, amulet, flask, helmet, body armor, jewel, bow. Add a mod to a life or mana flask. Add a mod to a utility flask. So on and so forth. Uh, let's, let's... Let's get a unique... Flask. Item level 56. There we go. I was waiting for more of these guys to show up. Like Jesus, my weakest, my weakest thing to fight right now is single target like enemies. You are truly a survivor. The overflowing chalice. Call for flask. It lasts 8 seconds, consumes 40 of 60 charges on use, currently has 0, 40% increase of damage, creates consecrated ground on use, 55% increased charge recovery, 78% increased charges gained by other flasks during flask effect, and gains no charges during effect of any overflowing chalice flask. Huh.
So this will be useful with other flasks. This, this will definitely be more useful if you have more of them because this actually it's hold on. Actually, this is more useful. It's the same exact effect. The same exact effect, but just more useful. Awesome. Give me a unique helmet now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. The charge recovery is insane. That's awesome. A leather hood, evasion rating 200. Eight, this is useless for us. 89% evasion rating increase. Increased mana regeneration rate. 28% uh, fire resist, cold resist. 28% increased cold damage if you have used a fire skill. And 20% increased fire damage if you have used a cold skill recently. So, that's pretty interesting. Not useful for us. How about a unique amulet? Why not? Level 53, nice. Ooh. I don't think we can die on these or we or we we fail. You're a tough bastard. See, this is... The worst part about this is critical strikes do not deal extra damage. Got you. See you around. I'll probably be playing this for another four hours before switching to let it die, so... If, if you want to show up or can show up by then, by all means. If you can't, that's okay, too. That's so, that's, that's so annoying that I got that unique amulet. Maybe we can try and corrupt it. Oh, we're dead. Oh, shit. That was so close. That was a damn close fight. Another evasion rating leather piece. Dexterity 15% increase, attack speed 10%, evasion rating plus 139, cold resist, movement speed, and 25% mana recovered from flasks. I probably should, like, I could sell these uniques, probably. Maybe, maybe we'll look into doing that. I might not buy stuff, but I might see about selling stuff. A unique jewel. 
We don't use traps, unfortunately. But again, again. Possibly something this out. But yeah, that's that's what uh, Einhar's Einhar's whole thing is. Searching eye jewel. Strength and intelligence plus 10. Fire damage to attacks. Cold damage with wand attacks. And lightning damage with wand attacks. But we're not using a wand, so that's useless to us, unfortunately. Question. Comparing these two together, which one's better? Well... This one for sure is better, so we sell that one. Adds chaos damage to attacks. Whatever. list the totem the first ones are watching so unfortunately these aren't I mean we could try and get a four linked if we do we could make some fun changes yeah do we even want to mess around with that, though? Nah. I think we'll just leave it be. The question is... Hold on. Wailing es Essence of Anguish. Fire damage to spells. Penetrates. Lightning resist. Increased spell damage. Adds a hundred and okay. That's a possibility right there. Minions deal more damage. 
a higher attack speed. This is level 56. Adds 20 to 28 or to 43 to 51 physical damage. That's nice, but I don't know. Oh, this is just a straight up upgrade no matter what. A rare item. Regular to rare. So we'll keep that. Cool. See. Higher accuracy rating. Critical strike multiplier. Lightning damage. Uh, adds fire damage. Adds lightning damage. Crap. Okay, we'll save those then. Not a lot of those. Attack damage leech says life. Read. Plus one level of socket of gems. 12 to strength. Adds 86 to 172 fire damage. 0.81% of physical attack damage leech says life. 246 to accuracy rating. Attacks have 20% chance to cause bleeding. 29% increased damage with bleeding. 63 to 104 damage on itself. So this weapon is inherently better than our current limb splitter axe. this shit later. Cold damage. Lightning damage. Prepared for Those don't do exactly what I want, but that's a shame. We'll have to get different gems later. What a mess. We can increase the quality. Welcome back. Ah, uh, that's a shame. 
As always, next time, though. Do I not have any more whetstones? Also messed up. I was supposed to hit it. Hmm. We'll save the whetstones. For it. Okay. We are now using a two-handed katana-esque blade. I love it. Torment Bane Life Blade. Hello. Hell yeah. I have to mess around and find out with elementary resistance rank 3 at some point in the future. I feel like we're now shredding them a lot more. This was a good decision. A good decision to change to this blade. I do not regret. I do not regret at all. In fact, it is the opposite of regret. I'm very pleased with what we have decided to do. I'm gonna check this area to make sure there's not stuff that I'm missing. Yeah, we need to go to the Grand Pomerade, I think. And again, there are two locations we can go to. Oh, we need to talk to them regardless. Again, we're going to finish clearing the map out, and then we'll get the quests that we need to get, and hopefully we'll have enough time to come back in here before the map resets itself. That, okay, the weapon switch definitely feels good. I need to try and keep in mind to always upgrade the quality of an item, if I can, before, before, I mean, for this year, like I said, These owl eyes of mine have been. At least you made it to finals. From afar. That's that's the impressive. The sun orb lies within her temple, guarded by her most ardent devotee, an exile who, in his insanity, has taken to calling himself the Dawn. Or your team, or what have that you. That orb is the seed that must be stolen from this new son of hers, and planted at the feet of his ancient mother. I've been keeping a close eye on that exile turned sycophant who calls himself. The dusk. Dusk carried the moon orb into the Lenaris temple and has not returned with it, not as far as I have seen. No doubt he clings to that orb like it's his adopted mother's own nurturing breath. If you were to wean him from the teeth and place that orb at the bereft mother's feet, we may yet see the moon itself fall. Be well. It's supposed someone as crafty as Dodri would have kept their ugly head under wraps as soon as she saw you coming. But I guess death robs us of many things, including our common sense. In any case, thank you. The sewers 
can run clear now that there's no fetid witch clogging up the pipes. Here, have a little something to commemorate your fine cleanup job. Give me something, something. Tell me something. Any chance you might be willing to join forces and turn Alfie profit with old Argon? Mm hmm You ever heard of the wings of the Steri? Not just another damned artifact. This one was the highest symbol of the office of the Merican. Held by the Sahima of Sahimas. History books will say the wings were last worn by Sahima Asenath. The golden Sahima. The one who went and got herself murdered by Hector Tatushis. The only problem is that Tatushis himself is up and guarding his pretties once more. Still, if you can recover those wings of Asteri, then I'm confident I can sell them back to the Medicare for a fair sum. They're a cultural icon after all, dripping with sentimental value. Is this, what do you say? This couldn't be a... What little humanity General oh, Tatushis okay, was mind. born with, he traded in for strength. Went as far as to have Malachi replace his joints with virtue gems. Mad bastard. Afterwards, Emperor Chittis charged Tatushis with subduing the Merikath. A job he took a little too much pleasure in, if you ask me. Absolutely lovely. Don't do anything I would. Exile, you've helped me before. Thought so. You can help me again, can't you? My hope waits for me to the east, tucked away in a shrine in the key. The Ankh of Eternity. The Russo, Prima Imperialis, placed it there himself at the dawn of the Empire. If the legends are correct, the Ankh has powers over life and death. When paired with the correct Asmerian ritual, I've learned the ritual. All I need is the Ankh of Eternity, and I know I can bring Tormund back. Properly, this time. Will you retrieve the artifact for us? I've tried, but the creatures around the shrine... ...simply too dangerous. Yes, yes, Tormund, I'm getting to that. I've already prepared a site for the ritual out in the quay. Please, meet us there with the Ankh, so that I may yet breathe life into my dearest love. Mm. Exile. Mm. Bye. Such a shame. Such a shame. Well, this is directly to the right, so we might as well head there instead. to try and look at the positives of uh of everything oh we have six now we have six ability uh six cyclone Ooh, some volcaric vein nice we're gonna have to deal with that stuff in a little while the Voltaic, uh, Sulfite. Okay. What do we got instead? Well, that won't work. Son of a bitch. Also, greetings and good day, Grant Kirkland. How are you today? Oh, you son of a... Mud, son of a... Mmm.
All right, sure. And maybe that'll work. What do we got? Five minutes? Okay. I guess that'll work. Different elements on our weapon. Oh, gross. 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 Not a channeling skill either. Use our scythe blades and whatever else we can. Reap's actually a pretty awesome ability. So glad I actually have Reap. God, longest five minutes ever. I'm missing something. Yeah, whatever. Uh, shit. Two minutes left. Watching that damn time now.
minute and ten seconds. I'm thinking about it, an elemental weapon or elemental hit might be able to be utilized with Ch cast while channeling. If that's the case, that could be insane. Been now available? Possibly, we'll just go for a little bit longer. Oh, actually, you know what? It'll be fine. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. We deactivate this. We uh, put Cast while channeling back on. Cyclone. Oh shit, I don't have two greens. That's kind of annoying. Cold damage, accuracy, evasion, mana, light. Dex, nope, we can't take that off then. Resurrection site. I really need to test that out now. I need to get a piece of armor that has, is it two greens? No, it's three. Cyclone. I need one blue, two green. Connected. That's not going to work with Cyclone. Cyclone. Shit. I'm like on the hunt for two green, one blue connected. Cause I want to test this elemental hit with Cyclone. I want to save that. What the hell is this? Let's summon enemies after me. I'm busy here. I'm trying to figure something out, damn it. Keep a sight on my shit and hopefully we'll be good there. I'm tempted to like gem that up, see if we can get what we need there, test this out. But more than likely, we'll actually get lucky with the thing. Reconnected, two green, one blue. Ooh, 
dragon scale doublet. Three connected, unfortunately. Not not everything that I want. I don't want to waste link like I don't want to waste resources trying to get this just to test one thing. No, it's available. It's been five minutes. At that point when you said that, my apologies. I got a little bit focus mode because I, my brain's thinking about the potential testing of this. And like, whenever my brain starts thinking about how to test these skills, I get focus mode. What a, what a hell of a katana this is right now. There we go, almost 3,000 damage per second. We were doing half as much damage with that axe. That's how much weaker it was. Plus, this axe has a lot of fire damage. 86 to 172. Nice. It's a unique that we're not going to be using. We almost have another level. Hey, we can test this out. Perfect. Two green, one blue connected. I have the opposite set up. Not connected and it's red. Somewhere around this area. No, no. Nope. We're getting like almost what we need, but they're not all connected. Or if they are connected, they're not the right coloration for gem sockets. It's all good though. We'll eventually get what we need. Six linked armor. I might grind out the prison every once in a while. Like I'll do this. Here's what we'll do. We'll get some of this optional stuff done. And when we head back to the quote-unquote waiting room, I suppose we could word it. Or not the waiting room. Back to the base. We could, uh... Can't think of it right now. We could head to the prison area, because that's where we got to change that bind the first time.
I'm liking how this build has a preemptive strike. Great. But yeah, the six links I'm some I'm like very excited for. And there's a tarot card that we could kind of grind out. Hello there. I know where she's at. She's at the resurrecting place, or just in front of it, I bet. I bet money that's where she's at. Connected, but not what we need. I don't think it's up here, but we're going to check to make sure. Yeah, this is where we came from. Almost missed out on a currency item. That would suck. Then again, this might be having a chest or something. Nah, it has nothing for us. Honestly, nothing for us. That's unfortunate. God, I'm so excited. We are so close. 7% of the way from another level. It's awesome. We get to these little walls. Upgrade your gear, man. When you get to a wall and you're having some difficulty, but you feel like your, your setup is right, uh, just upgrade your gear. You try and keep in mind you can increase the quality of it when it's a, a basic item and you can turn it into a rare but if you have a really kick-ass unique rare but not a unique unique because sometimes rares are better than unique uniques uniques can be awesome but the problem with the unique is it gets like hampered by the fact that it only has a set amount of things unless you uh Like, it only has a set amount of things. Unless you corrupt it. Give it to me quickly. Finally, Tommy. We can be together as before. All right. Let's begin. Suffering will besiege us, and yet love will prevail. Pain will imprison us, and yet love will prevail. Grief will engulf us, and yet love will oh. prevail. Jeff will surely take us, and love will... No. This isn't right. This is... Oh, Tommy, please. Forgive me. Waiting for the boss zombies. I wasn't using the right weapon, holy shit.
actually didn't get killed. Two greens. We need two greens. One blue. I've been so stupid. Marusa didn't hide the Unk out of shame. He hid it out of fear. Out of... Oh my. What did the Unk really do to his wife? Everything I saw that I read. Lies to cover the truth of what Kiara had really become. Oh, I'm so glad. All right. I was at, I'm actually I'll surprised by this. Unk. We've come a long way since Marusa's day, so I'm thinking I can manage where he so sorely failed. At least that's something I know I can do right. I'll meet you back at the encampment soon. For now, I need to... Look, I... I'll just see you there. I promise. <sighs> oh. I might have spoken too soon. I mean, it does say talk to Clarissa in town for your reward, but who knows, you know? I kind of like the uh, katana we got going on for us right now. Katana. Yeah. We'll get the waypoint, but I don't want to get that one yet. I'm worried that... I'm going to say this now instead of keeping it in my mind. I'm worried that when we get one of the orbs, it'll have effects on all the enemies in the opposite. So if we get the sun orb, it will increase, like, ice damage. And if we get the ice orb, it'll increase fire damage on enemies or something like that. I can handle fire damage... I don't think I could handle the ice damage right now. Honestly. I really don't think I could handle the ice damage. We'll have to check out that image later. I thought I turned the notifications on Discord off. Hell, I think I'm closed out of Discord, actually. I am. All right, let's see what's up with Calissa. Okay, she's actually here. Poor Tolman. He was never really with me, Okay, was he? good. Just the shell of a man I loved. Wherever he is now, I hope he is at peace and that he can forgive me for not being able to let go. I'm going to have to figure out how here, to make sure those notifications don't show up for at least during helping. stream. And thank you for... for everything. That's from a direct message, I believe. Ah, passive skill point. Hell yeah. I believe it's funny. That's why I was giving a smirk to the, uh, the camera. Be careful. Damn, that's a... the hell of a weapon. But honestly, with Cyclone, dual wield doesn't really work as well.
Gracias. Be careful. This is way more useful for me for now. Okay, perfect. We can test this out. Cyclone. Elemental hit. Cast while channeling. Does it work? I don't think so. No. Because it's not a spell. Got it. Got it. I understand. I understand. It's just a basic attack. little grind through the sewers get ourselves some um, experience hopefully a level up get this level up we're five percent of the way there Probably such a small area is not going to have that many enemies. Yeah, it doesn't have that many enemies at all. This is like a waypoint area. I was out hunting food for our encampment. Like a prowling cat I was, but what I saw, marching across the ruins, made me feel like a little mouse. Gem-studded warriors pounding the earth, led by their strongest, a captain. I've known of these Gemlin legionnaires, how they were once the personal swords of Emperor Chittis. But now they rise again, with this captain at their fore. The Grain Gate. Swallowing my fear. I followed the captain and found a force being gathered within the grain gate. Exile, I know it's not fair for me to ask. You have done so many things for us. But if you were to find the captain and slay him and his men, I would honor you greatly. Our little town would not survive an onslaught such as the captain is likely to enact upon us. I'm excited because... Oh. If I am a watchful owl, then you are the courageous hawk. Swooping with sharpened talons to wrench the serpent from the child's neck. 
Clarissa will bear that wound for the rest of her life. But I'm glad you were there to save her from following poor Tolman into the dirt. Perhaps now that Clarissa has lost her love of death, she will finally be able to embrace life. Anyways, yeah, I'm excited for when I do make a second character and stuff, and I just don't like a lot of time. Probably a couple of hours, actually, has been me Telecom. listening to the lore of this game. Hello. The best part about this is Green we won't have to do this awesome. every single time we, uh, we come through the game. I will click on every single dialogue option, but I'll just skip through it all in the future. Uh, where the hell is that at? Please tell me the Grand Gate. Uh, it's over there. Okay, perfect. And you are over to this way. As are you. But you are all the way over there. Again, I'm not doing the sun one. Just in case what ends up happening is like, it's some thing where you have to go through and fight all the way to the other side of the map to get to the sun orb if you get the moon orb first or the moon orb if you get the sun orb first or whatever vice versa because if it has an elemental increase effect the moon orb would be so detrimental to us it would be such a detrimental like buff to the enemies Also, I forgot to go to the prison. That's fine, because we have beasts on this area to, to collect. Oh, God. T spike. What else do we got? We got any goodies? Doesn't look like it. We gotta level up so I'm more okay with uh, getting these beasts set up. Hopefully we'll get that good stuff soon. Currency items are a big one, too. Hey, get some rogue markers. Nice.
Okay. Rare and unique enemies. Hell yeah, 40% increased damage. That's what we're weakest against right now. That actually, I think, helps us the most. For now and the future. Bosses are probably unique. Try to get more superior flasks. Oh, we got some abyss shit going on. I thought it was five link. I was so excited. I thought it was five link and I was so excited I love how now we're getting like instead of one currency item here and there we're starting to get, like, multitudes of three. Great. Murderous. A wolf pelt. Hold, fire. See, it's with claw attacks. This is the problem right here. Melee splash to support. Herald of Purity is the only thing this works with. Wow, that's a sad, sad thing. Lore book. Fowl, feral fowl. A turkey. Uh, oh shit. Obliterated his ass. Official orders to no size. Remain in the warehouse until I personally send for you. In the unlikely event, you'll shoot us through 
fall. You and your fellow legionnaires will be safely beyond the perimeter of his heart gems influence. You men and women are my finest work yet. I will not lose you for some aberration of chance. Malachi, Bumatosh, Ron. Level 64. Okay. Kill him, you got it. Good. If we see anything good, we'll do some inventory management, but I doubt we will. Fucking frost damage. Holy shit, we almost died to that. superior things for the uh, glass baubles or whatever glass blowing things to make our our main flasks way more viable and again we can find them as we go a waypoint in here. I have some beasts I need to capture first. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, we've got four beasts to capture first. I almost messed that up. The majestic plate would be nice. It really does suck that when you get that reward. It seems like the divination card, it's just going to be just a randomized reward, you know? I hope it's not. I hope it's like a reward that you can choose from a select number of them. But we're gonna find out soon enough. Damage. 
Damn frost damage. We almost got another level up. That's great. Where the hell are these other beasts? They're like right on top of each other. They have to be. So, it's really in that other half of the area, it looks like. This is a pretty big map, too. It seems that way. Now. At least till I come in and take you out. Got one more left. Well, I guess it has to be all the way to the left of that waypoint. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Utterly exhausting. Yeah, it's not there. Not another one of those hidden beasts that we gotta, like, be lucky and come across that'll pop up, right? So this is where we come in at. Where the hell is this last beast at? Hello, beastie, beastie, beastie. Where are you? There it is.
was a hunt you will not soon forget. You're welcome. Goodbye. Okay. Got to catch the yawns right now. There is a waypoint over there. God, we might be able to get another level. That was the wrong time to use that ability, unfortunately. Oh well. I fat fingered Q by accident. Oh, it's fucking blocked off. It's blocked off by a cart. We got 62 experience real fucking fast. This looks like a lovely spot to lay down and die. Medium cluster jewel. Holy shit. That's a sellable to me. Or at least in my mind. Find the waypoint in this area. Cold damage over time, cast speed cold skills, energy shield recharge rate, cold resistance. That's like five. No, that's ten elemental resistance. Mana regeneration rate. Special reserve. 
What the hell is that? Yeah, whatever. Let's steal some shit and get some other stuff going. What's up? I'll be getting these at some point in the near future. How near, I do not know, but I just know I will be. What's our, what's our... Movement speed's not really a concern for us. Like, all the way over down here to get Leech Mastery. Leech would be better for whatever character this is. shit and go from there got a chaos or poggers we 
got our first map. We got a map. It's a map, it's a map, it's a map, it's a map. Yeah, chaos orbs are in this game. They're one of the currencies everyone talk like utilizes in terminology in this game. It's either chaos orbs or exalt. For example, I'm pretty sure the current price of exalts are 120 chaos orbs. thought it was five links for a second again damn that would be so good give me a five link i'd love a six but give me a five i'm excited about the fact that we just picked up a map of course it's only like tier one but still There's some more loot I need to check around for. We changed our weapon. That's pretty much all we did, right? But that's a lie. The other thing we did is this right here. Kinetic impact, so 25% increased physical damage with two-handed melee weapons. Attacks with two-handed melee weapons deal 25% increased damage with ailments. 10% chance to double stun duration, 5% chance to deal double damage, and 40% increased damage with hits against rare and unique enemies. So, well, the mooks are not really an issue for us at the time being, right? Those are like, we are not having an issue with mooks. It's the enemies that are like, hey, they have a name to them instead of just basic bullshit name, number one, and stuff like that. So now, now we're kicking ass and taking names. That's a fox. There we go. Like this guy right here, we're doing 40% extra damage against him. So we've turned, we've turned unique enemies almost into mooks. I mean, not uniques, uh rare There's the waypoint. We're going to get one. We're going to get a five link soon. I just, I have a feeling we keep getting five with three and two. It's only a matter of time before we get a five link.
destroyed. Crushed. This game is too damn fun. We're definitely gonna get another level up. That's funny. I can't be stunned. Cartographer's chisels increase the uh, span of a map. Wait. We could probably affect the map how it could affect everything else, right? So like we can increase the quality of the map we could probably increase like it from a basic map to a, a unique or not a unique a rare map we can maybe we can even corrupt it oh dude we're gonna have to mess with maps for sure another unset ring these unset rings i really like because they allow us to use like certain abilities that have no effect so like the stance gotta level up uh the blood stance or sand stance that's something you throw into an on uh, a non-set ring i believe for me it is anyways another thing i'm probably gonna make sure i set into a, a ring is that uh energy blade whenever i can activate that we only have 112 shield which sucks, but... I don't know how to... Well, I do know how... Hold on. This is how. This is how you get more shield. You go here. You type in... Shield. And you figure out what you want. So... Energy shield. Energy. No. Leech. There is nothing for energy field. This right here, all the way up here.
Where is it? Stun Threshold. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is this is yes. This is life leech. Not exactly. Not exactly what I was Hoping to get, but... We could make some changes if need be. I think we're good, actually. I think we got, like, the points that we're getting. I think I'm happy with. We could take away the gem, the jewel. And keep melee damage. We'll take away the jewel, which is kind of sucks for right now. But... But... Now our life leech is insane. So... Fucking fuck around and find out, bitches. We're doing more damage to uniques and rares. Uh, we are just... The life leech is having, having some good effects. How's our character look right now? Base is 146, max is 336. Life leech total recovery per second is at 360%. So, mana's at 76. Uh, mana leech total recovery is 140%. Maximum is 153. Energy's 10%, oh, 11. And 100, so, Oh, I see how it works. Okay, I see how that works now. We have a 7% increase of quantity and a 25% increase of rarity of items drop. Which is great. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we're doing a lot of damage. Look at us fucking melt effigy of fear. I smell your fear, effigy. Do you dare challenge me? Average damage of Reap is 777. Cyclones, 2,576. Three thousand. We peak three thousand damage. Energy 
at rest. Oh, when we're fully cycloned up at six cyclones. Oh, we're doing a lot more damage than that. We are doing a lot more damage than that. It goes down so fast. Reign of Chaos. That is a uh, divination card we just got. What does Reign of Chaos do, I wonder? Gives us a chaos orb. That's it. You think it like to take eight divination cards? You think it would do more than a? Ca then again, chaos orbs are probably expensive to make, so maybe I should just shut my fucking mouth. In other words, instead of just chaos orb, just reign of Mister Kirkland. Wong Zio Kukla. God, that's hilarious. I, I love how the regulars in my chat have, like, the select, well, not the select, but a, what's the word I'm looking for here? A, uh, a theme around them. Like Logical Beast with the Shovel Knight stuff, and Grant Kirkland with the Chaos stuff. Yuri with the, uh, the Russian soldier stuff. My courageous hawk removes yet another snake from the long grass. I offer you a reward, but my mind remains unsettled. The captain lies rotting in the ground, buzzing with flies. But if Gemli Legionnaires can regain their sentience, then can all the monstrosities of the Undying do the same? My thoughts turn to the burrows and chambers beneath the earth of San. Could there be some new, undead civilization growing and preparing itself underground at this very moment? Such thoughts do not make for easy sleeping. Talakota. I mean, two-handed damage. We're just doing more damage even now. So what's what's our what's our damage per second? Ooh, one thousand sixty-two. Baby, baby. What is our cyclone now? Two thousand one hundred fifty-eight. Oh God, this is. There you going? I'm very excited. It's going well. It's really going well. Stay out of the shadows. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You have like. This is great. Fantastic. Yes. Hmm. 19 rarity. We already have that. Let's, uh, let's sell some shit to you. That sucks. See you. And, oh, there's common cards. There's there's magic cards. Interesting. I wonder if we can get like many unset rings together. Like if we do three unset rings, what happens? We'll have to see. Got eight chaos orbs. 
17 jeweler orbs. Man. I think what we do since we're here, let's go to the prison really fast. Run through that and see if we can't get a, uh, couple more chained ones. The lower prison. Let's just go here really fast and see if we can't get another divination card. Love this idea that we're just gonna might have to fuck around with the strong box to make it better. Hold on. Let's let's make the strong box way better. I need to look through my currency items and see what I can utilize to make it better, but. Quality of a strong box with the engineer's orb. Uh, we increase the quality. We could possibly corrupt that. Normal to rare with that. Anything else? Don't know. Let's increase the quality and go from there. I wanna I wanna mess around with this. Basic strong box. So five ten fifteen twenty. Okay, can't do it anymore. Forty six percent increase of quantity of contained items. Three rare monsters. Fully linked items, oh my god. The chance it's not. No way. Damn it. I was so excited because it could have given us a fucking. I got so excited. Son of a bitch. It's a lower ranked area, so lower ranked item. Should have thought of that. Or just we were unlucky. Seems like we were very unlucky. Fuck. Oh well. 
Oh well. Before we go to the tower, we need to make sure we uh, click everybody. We want to see if we can get another chained man. If we do, cool, but if we don't, it won't be the end of the world. This is just for experimentation purposes, in all honesty. Uh, make sure we hit every chunk and chest we come across as well, because those could always contain an item like that. Can we upgrade a chest? No, because it's not a thing. At least I don't think we can. Not a strong box. I thought so. I remember that, but... I wasn't 100% sure. Ridge, not really. This is a little bit of experience grinding, but that's actually not why I'm doing it. That's one of the reasons. Like that's it's like a if you had to grade a reasoning, and I had ten reasons to do something. Uh, reason the first, like most importantly, most assuredly the divination card. See if we can even get one. I know we did though. Reason in a second would be like, hey, loot. New items, possibly. Possibly really good items. Possibly just whatever. The other reason is the divination. Well, not the divination card you pulled. The uh, currency items. And the final one is experience. Currency items are the big one though. Currency items might even be above whatever it was I said prior to that. Here, let's go up. Again, I probably should be waiting for maps for this, but I'm not too concerned. We find another lockbox, we know what we can do, like, strongbox, whatever they're called, we know how we can get a six-link item, possibly, that I was so excited, but I forgot we're in a, uh, probably a lower tier area, honestly. We only got four links. I didn't even realize a chest could do that, but now that I do... Not a chest, a uh, strong box. I wonder what the drop rate for divination cards are. And how, if there's a way to make it easier for us to get those. Mind you, one of the, uh, quote unquote best ones I've seen has been because I looked up I looked up the divination cards and one of the best ones has been the chained man six link body armor everything else is like really specific
mind you, really specific is probably good. I guess I like the RNG more. The best part about this is we really shouldn't have any difficulty whatsoever with the dealing with uh, this area because of how high level we currently are. That and we we finally gotten abilities that increase not only our dual wield damage, like our not dual wield, our two handed damage, but our life leech as well in combination with that. So. The Cyclone build is starting to ball out of control, and that is exactly what I wanted to happen. I wonder if you could use a... a gem to set a uh, unset gem ring. Probably not. I wonder if there's any good recipes with it, though. Well, another question we're going to answer. I'm pretty sure bosses don't respawn. At least not in these areas. We probably have to have a map for that. Only a good thing you can't upgrade chests or you can't get random like duped up chests. Things would probably be a little ridiculous loot wise if you could. Go ahead, try and do damage to me. Try it. Uh I am pretty excited because now I'm I think if we wanted to, we could get one of our previous abilities. I think I already did Sulfur Flask. Yeah, I have this Overflowing Chalice, which is a Sulfur Flask, which is way better than what we previously had. It's a unique flask. We got that. We're dealing with Einhar's uh, Beast Sacrifice stuff. What's really cool is how many current shadows we've got going through this area it made it worth it even if we don't pick up the divination card which we probably won't but again this was more for experimentation purposes than anything else getting 12 experience from this or 12 percent of our experience from this well i mean there's another strong box right here increase the quality make it rare i'm very tempted to do that maybe we'll get very lucky i'm doubting it but You can always get more engineer orbs. More rarity of contained items. Quantity of contained items. Ignites when you activate. Added chaos damage support. Does it? It does support cyclone. 16 
I mean, 18 to 26. This is a blue. Might as well slap it down. Oh, it works with Agony and Chaos, too. Hell yeah. So that's actually kind of awesome. Wait. What else does it work with? Agony. I said Chaos, I meant Purity. Thunder. Reap. Summon Reaper. Ball Blade Vortex. Blade Vortex. I still have that active. Blazing Salvo. Oh. Added chaos damage with Bladed Vort uh not Blade with Blazing Salvo. Reap and Cyclone would be kind of crazy. Let's get that on regardless. So I want to experiment more with these chests. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This might make it worse. This might make it better. But I'm still in the experiment phase. I want to learn. I want to learn by doing. Right? Instead of looking it up. I only want two, but if I take if I take more than that, I'll use them. We'll take two rares with us. I, I mean, two chaos orbs. I won't take any more than that. So what does happen now? They're all corrupted. Every item is corrupted. Interesting. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind for the future. If we can get, like... Six linked in a really good, like, really good area. Six linked. Corrupt it, maybe. But we can't make any adjustments after we corrupt it.
No divination cards, unfortunately. Get, wait. If there's Nemesis nearby, if there's a Nemesis nearby, we could utilize that to get divination cards, right? And it will be divination cards from this area. Or a higher chance to be from this area. Again, we'll have to experiment right now. Hopefully. Wouldn't really make any sense to me if there weren't any. We missed one enemy. Coming back just to slay whatever we can. Slay and slaughter whatever we can. Also make sure we get every single chest we can. No, it doesn't look like we actually have the uh, ability to do that. That would've been cool. Kind of disappointed. Unless I already did it. No, I didn't. We're going to be going for quite a bit longer. I'm going to turn my heat on in a minute here. Also probably going to get a thing of warm tea. I'm just over here just thinking about exactly how uh, how the spawn stuff works and whatnot. We're gonna clear off the floor before we move forward. I would have thought the prison would have had like I thought every map had this shit. Jesus. 15% increased area of effect? I'd have to just see. 15% increased area of effect. That will increase the area of effect of Cyclone by 15%. 
crazy. So you can fight bosses again. Didn't realize that. That's pretty neat. Merges with it now. So it begins. Okay, neat. Search for ancient texts. At expedition site. I mean, we're getting not a lot of experience. I didn't realize I didn't notice about lost expedition stuff. Act seven. If I go here, will it still say lost expedition? It won't. Interesting. There's a conversation that can be had here, though. Only a couple conversations now that I'm thinking about it. Many an artist of Esmerian descent has engaged in the sad worship of that sultry arachnid. But you looked in those hypnotic eyes and then ripped them out. She lies in her bed of sordid memory, alone. A little of the spider yet creeps and crawls in my palm. A touch more power for my subdural gone. That's after we killed the main one there. Good to see you still kicking. Good to see you still kicking. Greetings. And good day. How are you today? The spirit hunts. Hello. To me, you're Go looking with for courage. Greetings. Goodbye. I'll go through uh, Act Eight later. I'll check out the other stuff too. Well met. Our expeditions are a private matter of honor. Survive. Don't feel like traveling through like that. Interesting that the expedition was in level one of that area. Makes me wanting to go through and check out the other areas as well to make sure I don't miss out on any goodies. Also, uh... Let's get to the waypoint, I think. Unless there's not one here. Now, 
now we should be starting to get our experience back up to snuff. From the cesspool to this area, we'll go straight. Actually, I want to clear out this little looky looky area. I wouldn't imagine that the uh, homestead or whatever this is would. Ooh! All blue. That's kind of crazy. Three linked, all blue. Armors. I just realized. I just realized that that's how we get six linked armor. Okay, I'm a little bit derpy, but that's no surprise there. I'm debating with myself how I want to do this. What do you want? Still breathing, eh? Corrupted? Gives us just an orb of augmentation. Corrupted, well, probably because it's a rare. Fully decked out rare. Good luck, dear. Can I get engineer orbs? Need something? No. Not yet, anyways. Watch yourself. Come over here. Good luck, dear. Cough, 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 cough. This is probably a waste of chaos, but you know what? We could probably get it. First things first, upgrade the quality to 15%. Or 20%, I mean. My bad. Upgrade it to that. Detonates, ignites. That was a waste. That was such a waste. Don't want to talk about it. Should have stopped at the mirrored items. Whatever. We learned. Keep the chaos orbs for other stuff, I guess. And again, I have fun with it. I'm not upset. I learned something. We could probably do more to it. We could probably add modifiers. Make it magic first. Make it magic first. Add modifiers to it. Then turn it from magic to rare. That's what we want to do. See, we figured it out. Nice. Good talk. Good conversation.
Mind you, we're also, when we do 40% more damage on top of the damage that we're already doing, when we hit the flask. The best part is we don't actually have to hit the flask anymore. Or, well, not anymore, but by a ridiculous margin. I might try and attempt to, uh, five link the armor. Should have got off cold and stayed off of cold. Uh... We're gonna risk it for a biscuit on these. We're gonna have to try and kill them. I think we'll be able to do it. Ooh. Zone of passage only stays on you for that time. The Got temple it. looms closer with each new. So we can actually get to the temple now. After we do these last two. I'm excited for that. We actually managed to do that without dying. Summon our Reaper Bro. Always make sure we have our Reaper Bro summoned. I'm not mistaken, it feels like the enemies we're coming across are more related to frost damage. I'm terrified of this. Just obliterating anything that comes across our path. Great. Just in time. Ah, there you are. Let's go.
We almost kill them all. If we kill them all, I wonder what we get. That felt good. The temple looms closer with each. That felt so good. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything here that's like really good or decent. And there's like nothing that's that's really there for that. There? There for that. Ain't nothing there for that. One last incursion. I'm hyped. We're doing a shit ton of damage is what we're doing. Starting the party without me. What should we name our Reaper, buddy? I do not know. I do not know. Okay. 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 I get how it works. I get how it works now. I just understood that helped me understand how to utilize uh, Arch Nemesis. sure we made ourselves a little bit weaker reward wise for that unfortunately but it's okay because here's the thing here's the thing unknown cards 
Yeah, it's one card, unfortunately. The way this works is if we did this... I'm pretty sure this and then Necromancer, we would have gotten four. Weaken it by one. Wait, what do we get? Interesting. Melodication and dead eye. Okay. Okay. We're figuring out recipes. Crazy. The flask reduction is insane to me. I think it's because I used the Stone of Passage. I don't know, though. What 
such a lovely room of training. Ah, the Val and their charm. Still, having the architects of flesh here shall prove interesting in the future. The location of the temple is now clear. Make sure you've got enough supplies. Let me know when oh, you're ready and we can go. Oh, okay. To get us there. I understand how the temple works now. I get it. Okay. It took me a while to figure it out. And, and obviously until we get here. But here's how the temple works. You start at a place. You need to get orbs of opening of the door. And you need to hit the doors to make sure it connects to everywhere. And the better you do in a place, the higher rank it gets. Oh. Greetings. Okay. That's fucking awesome. Man, that's a hell of a hell of a setup. Love it. God, I'm loving this game. It's got so many little intricacies and so many little gotchas and just... What a blast. What a blast and a half this has been so far. Like, learning new shit where we can, when we can. Well, how, uh... Rick. We're gonna call him Rick. Rick the Reaper. Oh, how Rick just fucking charges forward. A yeah, very eager beaver, Rick is. I want to go up each of the stairs and just check to make sure we don't miss out on any goodies. I also want to make sure I don't open the divination cards as much as I would want to. I'm so glad we figured that out for the uh, arch nemesis. So, we need to figure out all the recipes. We will eventually. Lots of those orbs we're getting, so that's always good. Plus, a little bit of extra experience always goes a long way. There's probably nothing over here that we have to worry about. Sixty-four. We have another forty-six. No, thirty-six levels. We have another thirty-six levels we can get because level one hundred is the max. But how many skill points can we get? I wonder. Or perk points, I should call them. Future characters, yeah. I'm, I'm reading this really quickly. Hold on. It doesn't tell you how many points you can have, unfortunately. 
There's probably only a set amount of quests we can do, and we can get to level 100. That's probably it, the limitation there. I'm pretty sure the Reaper ate my other minions. Summon a powerful Reaper which ha uses a variety of slash and area attacks. The Reaper's presence weakens your other minions and it will consume them to temporarily empower and heal itself. Using this skill while the Reaper is already summoned causes to dash to the target location to perform a powerful attack. Ah. I can get two of these. I doubt it. Oh. Okay, cool. I wish when you hovered over them, the minions, it would tell you how much health they had. But whatever. Getting a bunch of them. Uh, chromatic orbs there. Getting a bunch of them there, chromatic orbs. The bathhouse. We need the bathhouse. Hey, a trial event descendancy has arrived. Awesome possum. I gotta look around and see something really fast. Is it an act two? Oh no, it was a stain in act two because. Got it, got it. I want to go my hat out really fast. Hero. Damn. I'm just using two.
Been in I'm here. Keep fighting. I did it. I mean, we did it. The location of the temple is now clear. Remember to watch your step, Exile. We may have helped build this layout, but a lot can change in 2,000 years. There's no telling what kind of things have taken up residence in those ruins. Hope you've made some bag space. Today we make off with a king's ransom. Greetings. Let's make history. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's enter the temple. Greetings. Go make history. Greetings. I did it. I mean, we did it. Oh, I was worried it's out here. I'm like, where is it? No, it's up here. This is the personal map. Okay. Okay. Focus up, see where we're at, go from there. So we have a, a, a companion with us. No wonder it's locked. It's in the middle of the jungle. Shouldn't be too far from here though. Things do a significant amount of damage. Probably a little bit under leveled for this, but we should be fine. gonna pick up the really cool shit because we're not even to the temple yet. And we are getting experience for this. Entrance. Passageway. Chasm. No. Passageways. Sanctum. Chasm. And corruption. I wish I realized what we need to do earlier. We can do this over and over again, I'm assuming, right?
The arena of valor is blocked off to us. Interesting. This is the tombs. These are basically a little bit upgraded versions or the same exact versions of boss that we've already fought. That's quite impressive. We've got a few more attempts. Oh boy. I'm looting all the things. Increased pack size. Oh, of enemies. Our resistance are 6% lower. Monster variety. Hell yeah. I want armor shield. This is insane. Holy shit. Sons of bitches, do not mess around. I am... A, I, I, I'm gonna say I'm a little disappointed with how things turned out, but at the same time, I understand now. I get it. I get how these temple work. And this has got to be something we repeat time and time again because it's all linked together.
421 energy shield. Hmm. Shit. What is that? What would that even do? Twelve to two hundred thirty-seven lightning damage in addition to what we already have. Got it. I think I'm just losing experience on this, this one. Specifically, half a goddamn level. Probably wouldn't have made it to the tip anyways if we uh, had it active. Drop a coral ring after all that. All right. Only th two more tries after this one. Oh boy. The fact that they regenerate sucks. It's like I'm fighting miniature versions of myself. We should go a little bit slower. How goddamn useless. We don't have much to show for it.
Fucking bullshit, boss enemy bitch. Because I keep getting frozen. Yeah, it sucks. We blocked off as many areas as we did, or we have as many areas blocked off as we do. The Chamber of Corruption is the final boss fight. I need to try and fight that. We have one attempt after this, so... I took out the boss. I think we're dead again. I 
Chaos Orb. That's what I have to show for it, basically. I mean, I'm not... I shouldn't be too upset because I'm thinking about it, and... Obviously, we wouldn't have made it up to the top anyways, right? Which is, we have to unlock the Apex in order to get this. But, like... A fully unlocked temple that's maxed out level-wise would be in actually saying. They're almost 10 levels below us, but still. And we really don't have much loot to show for. And the temple level is 56. More than 50 monsters remain. I think I need to kill all the monsters. In order for it to unlock all this shit. Which, unfortunately, not going to be able to do, I don't think. Hopefully it's not counting the entirety of the temple then. Need to pull them one at a time. They're regenerating too much health. We need to pull back before we can fight those off again. Trying to get as many charges on the flash as possible, I guess. Careful with hair. We'll get killed.
history repeats itself. Fuck. All right. Uh, we'll have to try and unlock every single one of these. And this is repeatable. Like she just said. So, halls and tombs, we can get to the shrine, tunnels, high, uh... From the tombs, we can get the shrine, tunnels, hatchery, and poison, garden. The guardhouse, we can get to the flame workshop. These two are connected. I'm glad I know how to do this now, though. I understand. I get it. We need to kill most of the enemies and get a, a orb of unlocking, and then proceed to use that orb of unlocking. We need to be faster, and we need to, we just need to be faster, basically. Lost a bit of experience doing that, unfortunately, but it was a learning experience, so I suppose we spent the experience to learn what to do, for the most part. Not die again! Fuck! We already got him to half health. Hundred and nine energy shield. A 
maybe an or uh, not an orb uh, waypoint here soon. Yeah, whatever. Next waypoint we'll worry about, not this one. Two undiscovered. Get a little bit of a charge up or shit like this, and we kill it now. Beautiful. Whoa! God, that bat shit is bad. On the night of a thousand ribbons, our finest city burned. It burned with fires lit by cruelty and neglect. It burned with shame for giving the title of emperor to a man who did not deserve it. So, what we do is we finish taking out these asshats. We learned a lot today. But yeah, what we do is we take out these ass hats and then finish this trial of ascendancy. Go from finishing the trial of ascendancy to. Okay, so this trap's a little bit. a little bit more dangerous. Anyways. We finish the trial of ascendancy, possibly take out the uh, the moon. Depending on how that works. Maybe the sun as well.
thinking about getting some type of just like a basic spell casting thing. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the hypnotic hoof bronze scale boots. We replace it with that because this this is this is better. Energy shield would be nice. Invasion builds would probably be. I think we do a dual wield like assassin type thing in the next character we make. Those guys with the elemental effect are really hurting us. Frustrating. If you lose, like I, I used to not get mad because oh, it's not that bad. But when you have 50% of your experience, like we'd already have a, another level. I do like how the Reaper eats our uh, other minions. Pretty funny. Anyways, I was saying something earlier about like getting some kind of basic spell that we could utilize. Corrupted items, eh. There's not a lot of corrupted items we could actually utilize. Well, we could utilize, I mean, but I mean, like, it has to be really useful. 
Because otherwise, it, it's a dead item. I'm gonna call that because dead items. Dead items. What they do for us is uh. They're unable to be upgraded past a certain point, so... We don't really get to utilize them as much as we can other items. We can make other items a little bit different, upgrade them a little bit. Like, it'd have to be the perfect item. A six-linked piece of chest armor. Or a six-linked weapon. Because we could always make the items work in our favor. Look how it's just a corrupted section of the bathhouse. A ball. Part of the ball, bathhouse. I'm called ball. Ball ha. Ball ha? Ball ha. Nothing sold my flesh. Yep, we already know that one. There it is. I was like, where the hell is the detonate dead essence train? We have a portal scroll, we might as well sell what we got. Hey, new hideout. Luxurious hideout. This seems like go with courage. This might be a replacement hideout for us. The music's a lot more soothing, like subtler. Chill. I like the natural light greenery. We could take some away if we needed to. And again, the luxurious hideout. It's unlocked, but we didn't kill everything. Now we have. Anyways. A lot of uh, bathhouse stuff. And, like, we could put the people over here, maybe? Yeah. I think we keep our hideout. Oh, shit. Curious. Farewell. Greetings. This is the luxurious hideout we're at right now. We'll have to look at it when it's cleaned out and see how it... The Desert, Act 9, and the Skeletal, Act 10. Probably more hideouts, but whatever. Probably could buy a hideout.
These are all decorations. Eternal Wasteland. So there are actual hideouts you can get. Champions. Corrupted. Innocent. Phew. Phew. You can't get hideouts. I knew it. Like, wait a minute. They're not going to have fucking personal housing units and not allow you to buy them. I don't know where that other en uh, enemy is. Partying is harder and uh, has more enemies. Okay, good to know. This is a straight shot, isn't it? Eh, close enough to a straight shot. Hey! We will be best friends, beast, until we slaughter you! <laughs> What's really cool is Drought bringer. What is drought bringer? Dead eye. A weakening aura. Yeah, I need him to summon more enemies for me. God, that was annoying.
lord, oh lord. I don't think it gave us any, yeah, it didn't give us anything there. Maybe I'll look up the, uh... What's it called? Off you go, little beast! Away! I'll look up all the Arch Nemesis recipes. Write them down. A little bit just distracted right now with this game. I'm trying to focus mode. When I focus mode, I get quiet. I like how unique this area feels. sell all this crap. Oh. In Azara's grotesque little garden, you'll find an old friend of mine. The yawning maw that is Yugo. But a soft portrait of what that pathetic creature has come to believe about the nature of fear. Those who look upon him see their own fears reflected in his horrifying visage. Vile scholars seem compelled to answer all manner of strange and troubling questions. Hugo was one such scholar. Whilst plumbing the depths of humanity, he came to believe that there was no truer expression of humanity than pure terror. He would induce terror in children and then capture the reactions with an Aldrich mirrors. Devices of his own creation that could petrify fear for extended study. Through his gallery of reflected terror, Yugal came to understand human nature so well that he was able to manipulate his way into the vile halls of leadership and eventually grew so fear Lovely. and renowned that he ascended into godhood. Farewell. I heard tell of an ancient Vow scholar who bore the name Yugal. He'd conduct these grisly experiments in pursuit of some piece of nasty wisdom Looks who's been talking in the nether regions sin. of human terror. Practiced on young kiddies, no less. Scaring the living shite out of Vow toddlers and then nabbing their fear within a hall of thaumaturgical mirrors. Could be the whole story's a crock. And here's where it gets even hazier. Seems old Yugal found something in that fear. Enough to scare a whole swag of Vile into worshipping him. Honestly, some people will worship anything for a bit of spiritual peace of mind. You found them! No easy feat, I bet. How's old Edna these days? Not so good after you cross paths with him, am I right? 
I'll polish these wings up and get them back to their owners. Just as soon as my Marrakech friend can get her folks to pay the ransom. <clears throat> Price, I mean. In the meantime, take a little something for my stock as payment. That's exactly what I'd like. Armor, evasion. Generate rarity. Good luck, dear. Three blues, one green. You want to give me that? So it seems that these only focus. Yeah, they only they mainly focus on reds. It seems okay. Good to know. Good to know. thinking about it and we might just reduce the rarity of items found something that helps us overall That's actually one that's really useful. At least I find it really useful for me right now. Better. Oh God, what happened? Uh 
Of course they were. I love how the mods act worse than the fucking streamer does. Like, at least not with my uh, moderators. Better not. Better fucking not act like that. I can't even keep a straight face with that one. That sounds like I know better than that. But Jesus Christ. Yeah. That sucks. All right, I feel I feel good about this better, like so much better now, with my elemental resistances. Holy shit, I'm about to switch over to uh, lid in a little bit here. Actually, I want to try and finish a boss fight and then. Then move on. You learned a lot today in this game, by the way. You, you are a very chill individual, and you probably only cuss out other motherfuckers when they're being a motherfucker. Right? Exactly. Give me one second on that. I'm trying to... There's another video I need to check out. If it's still there. What? They don't make mistakes. Oh. Do random. There's always an objective, always a target. The objectives and targets always came from us. Who's giving them to him now? Scary version? He is. You. Oh my god, it's Jason Bourne. God, it's, do they still are they still making new films of that, or have they stopped making them? Oh, our spin in the wind has gotten so much stronger. Will you fucking die, please? Thank you. The reason our spin to win has gotten so much stronger is, as you see, we now have a katana. This katana is doing 63 to 104 physical damage with 86 to 172 elemental damage of fire on top of that. A uh, 40% chance to critical strike, or no, a 40% chance to global critical strike multiplier, plus one level of the socket of gems, plus 12 to strength. Uh, 0.81% of physical attack damage leads to life, in addition to what we already have, a high accuracy rating, and our attacks have a 20% chance to cause bleeding and increase damage of bleeding. Oh my god, look at this shit. We literally cannot get through this door. We literally cannot get through this door. This is a bug. This is a bug. Hold on. How do how do we how do we report bugs? Not in this one. Hold on.
Screw it. You know what we do? How do we screenshot? Oh, what? We screenshot and we got through. That's actually hilarious. We screenshotted and we got through. Basically, it like copies it to the clipboard, so as long as I fucking. I'll, I'll, I got it. Thank you, though. That's hilarious. Yeah, true. True. I do have the stream exactly as proof. I don't know how I got out of it. I was like messing around, pressing buttons, and we like phased through. But here's the thing we can't go back through the door now, though. It won't let us. See? It's like. So, we can just save this as a clip and. Later, I'll go through the clips and be like, uh. I don't know if this is a bug per se, but I'm pretty sure it's not intended for you not to be able to get through a doorway and that could literally prevent you i mean the way to fix the bug is to leave the instance for eight minutes to 15 minutes and then come back but do you want to wait for eight to ten minutes to come back to a place plus you could miss out on some pretty cool shit so i mean we could go around in a big circle i think but still there is a possibility that that gets messed up to the point to where it no longer becomes available for uh passage could prevent progression that would suck you go through an entire area and get blocked off Is it weird I got all excited? I'm like, ooh, a bug. Ooh, a bug. I get to, like, do a thing now. Didn't even think about the fact that, like, I'm streaming this so the evidence is right there in front of everybody's faces. That's hilarious. Good thing I have somebody who's somewhat intelligent in my chat to tell an idiot like me that, hey, oh, guess what? You're streaming this right now. You're also recording it. You're also recording it, too. And you can use that as evidence of, hey... Oh, hello there. That's pretty interesting. Can bust down some of the doors or the walls. So the things that we learned today is we learned how to deal with something. I, I, it's not the ball temple. It's a different type of. Oh shit! Hold on, we're about to die. Okay, we obliterated him. Never mind. Anyways, it's it's the Azul Azul Temple or something like that. I had nothing, was nothing, sold my flesh to survive. Today my flesh belongs to my queen. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You're psycho. I don't know what we get for selling corrupted items, but we can't we're not really going to use corrupted items because corrupted items they uh They can't be altered So you can't add gem sockets to them. You can't alter their uh, Their modifiers Nothing like that at least not with my current items on hand But yeah, we're almost doing three, th like, without us actually hitting anything right now, we're doing almost, uh, we're doing over 2,500 damage. Reap has an uh, average damage of 661. Blazing Salvo has an average dam uh, damage of 154. So, 
It's got a lot of damage piled on. I'm gonna click this waypoint just in case I didn't get it already. I know I did, but just to be safe. Now we need to find that side location so we can defeat uh, whoever it is at the High Gardens that we need to defeat. And after that, we'll probably call it before we go to fight the main bosses. Hector. I need to defeat Hector again. That's kind of annoying. Bosses respawn, by the way. Some people, man. Absolute fucking mongolords. For future references, it's safer to call them mongs, M-O-N-G's, in my chat, because... I'll excuse it this time, because I understand you're angry, but I, I just like that word. And for future references, now you know. You know? It's all good, though. Yeah. Well, it's not... It's... Mm, yeah, it's, it's personally offense. It's personal offense. Yeah. I was gonna try and say it's not personal offended, but no, it, it, it truly is. Well, for me, it's not, it's not about me, myself. It's about my little sister who has CDG. I can't pronounce the thing properly, but basically she's always gonna be small, right? She's 18 years old and she comes up to right here. Uh, and she's very intelligent, don't get me wrong, but, like, she needs assistance when walking around, she has a wheelchair, all that kind of stuff, and I used to say that all the time, and then she was born, and it just, it didn't feel right saying that anymore, and it slowly became less and less, like, all right with the word, and all that. What the hell are the high gardens? But yeah, it's all good. She's awesome. She's smarter than me, so... What does that tell you? And I'm not joking when I say that. She is way more intelligent than I am. She remembers shit longer than I do. You tell her, like, Oh, in five days, remind me to do this. And five days later, she'll be like... Ah. 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 And she'll use her sign language and be like... Trying to tell you what you told her to remind you about. And you're over here like this. What? I know, I know, I, I told you to remind me about the thing, but what? Oh, and then you, you're reminded. So, like, she's awesome. Yeah. But like I said, because it was a combination of you not knowing and... Ugh, gross. You not knowing and just you being pissed off. I'll, I'll let it slide. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's why I said, uh, gross. I knew that was gonna happen. I should have hit my flasks before pressing the open button. I basically... What I basically did there is I was like, oh, here's a hand grenade. Let me pull the pin. True. You're not wrong. Okay, where the hell, where the hell is what I'm looking for? Up there somewhere, I believe. Oh, another thing, another thing. Uh, uh, how do I? Oh, you press tab and it sends you back to your thing, then you press tab again. And, okay, that's pretty cool. I mean... This is gonna sound weird, but I'm all right with fucktard. It's the hard, like, it, it's, it's, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it, but I guess it's like, I associate it more with moronixy than that, if that makes any sense. God, we're getting hurt, like just fucking obliterated. But I have a tendency to call people mongs. I blame excessive profanity for that because someone will come in the chat and like say something so fucking dumb and it's like you're a fucking mong of a human being. Just, just the stupidest son of a bitch. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna shy away from the boundaries thing. It's kind of funny. On, uh, I didn't really realize what the terminology would to utilize was until I was scrolling through Twitter. One of the first things I do when I wake up sometimes is scroll through Twitter. Can you fucking fuck off, you bastard son of a bitch? Iron Breaker. Look at, look at the effects of Iron Breaker. Life regen, gains endurance charges. Holy shit. Anyways, uh... Where was I? It's gone. It's gone. Whatever Damn. I was saying is gone. God. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I I've heard about the Meyer stuff. Okay. Quantity. Okay, so we need to get this chest. We need to get this chest here. We need to get this chest here. This we can get as well, but the main important thing is, the main important thing is getting this one and this one. Because... 
Items dropped by runic monsters are fully linked. If we can get a six linked piece of armor or a six linked two handed weapon, I'll, I'll probably have to turn my camera off because I'll need to clean myself up and change my pants. Uh, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it sucks that you come across that. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about the boundary stuff. Okay. One of the first things I do a lot of the times when I wake up is I go through and I... I, uh... Go through Twitter just to see what's going on. I mean... Yeah, I'm sure about that one. Anyways, and an individual was having a conversation about how some people in her chat and some other people would message to them about like how they don't like how they've changed or whatever. And they were bitching at those people in particular, not naming names, being like, ah, yes, I started being like, no, I don't want you to be saying this or I don't want you to be acting like this in my chat, having boundaries. And, and that's what upsets you. Okay. And I was like, oh, that's what it's called when you like, yeah, don't don't be doing that. I'm not, I don't shy away from that shit. If I've like upset you, this might sound mean, but if I upset you with what I dislike and I say that, then you can fuck off because this is my slice of the internet, right? I am the fucking king of my castle and this is my castle, right? You abide by what I say. I'll be kind. Just just a couple of simple rules. Don't be a dickhead. Don't use a couple of terminology I dislike. And we're good. You know? Exactly. All right, let's summon a Reaper. Let's actually see if we can't get a couple of charges before we do that, because that that worries me. On the night of a thousand ribbons, our finest city burned. It burned with fires lit by cruelty and neglect. It burned with shame. That's a song, isn't it? To a man who did or did you just press serve. random numbers in? You press random numbers. What is the five? There's a song. Five million something something hundred something. Am I mistaken? Am I insane? I might be crazy. I did this. Did I? I did this already. Yeah, I did it already. Okay, good. God, that was, that was worrying me. Actually, now that I'm thinking about that. Let's get some flash charges really fast. Also, a little bit of experience. Alright, we're good. So, what we're going to be doing when we hit this bomb is we're gonna pop all of our flasks right after we detonate it actually speaking of popping our flasks this is probably gonna get me killed but all right so it's easier for me to hit all these now Yep. The fuckers froze me. Can you motherfuckers stop freezing me? God damn. 
I need to figure out can't be frozen. And as soon as I get can't be frozen, I'm gonna fuck all over these bitches. There goes my fucking experience. God, I hate, I hate the freeze effect. The freeze effect is so fucking annoying. Now I gotta do this bullshit. Poor motherfucker getting there just desserts. Honestly, did you really guys? I mean, I know the chances of that happening were rare, but did you really not drop any items at all? How rude. How rude. What a son of a bitch. Yeah, they dropped items, all right. Hmm. I go through all that trouble, and that's how they reward me. Jackasses. Absolute jackasses. Hero? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Strike me down and I'll become more powerful than you can ever imagine kind of shit, right? I'm all for that. But yeah, uh... The high, the high Gardens? The High Gardens? Yay, okay, we can finally defeat this optional boss and then call it with this game and then switch over to Let It Die. Uh... I immediately regret that decision. I immediately regretted that decision. You get mad at the right things. You don't get needlessly mad at nothing. You, you get angry and upset at what you need to get angry and upset over. The understandable shit. Not the shit that's like meaningless and pointless other people for some reason think that that shit is meaningless and pointless when it's not like how they it, assholes were saying about oh oh you fucking there's worse things they could be using that's not the point the point isn't whether or not there could be worse things that this individual could or could not be using the point is that they're being used in the first place and they're as bad as they are Like, it 
It's just, it's just ridiculous. Oh, we have a name for our Reaper. Our Reaper, buddy. His name's Rick. Say hi, Rick. He doesn't talk much. Don't mind him. Pretty badass, though. Ooh, an unset ring. Hell yeah, give me that. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, more magic monsters. They drop additional rare items, or a chance to drop additional rare items. Immune to physical damage. <laughs> Fuck that! Don't care if that chest was like you get a blowjob. We ain't getting that one. Uh. Yeah, it does. Great team comes up like, good job, guys. You did great. And it's like, fuck you. Suck my dick. Fuck off. That's a, that's what it kind of, that's what it feels like. And the worst part is because of the way that they're saying it, the way that they're saying it, they could like, plausible deniability. No, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, you did. Don't try and fucking be a dickhead. Additional currency items. That's pretty cool. Quantity? Okay, so here's what we do. We hit that. Treasure will make this worth it. More magic monsters. Do we hit that? Or do we hit over here? I think we hit over here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm laughing before I read the other thing. I'm laughing at the... God, DVD is such a fucking cesspool of elitist and entitled assholes. And I'm laughing at that because it's like... I cannot believe how many fucking games are like that. Like, like games where it's, it's a small group versus League of Legends. Fucking, uh... Rainbow Six Siege. And it's like, my god. 
the the mentality of like a number versus a certain number of people like 5v5 ooh expect the toxic community i guess Oh, well, I mean, see, the best part about what you just said is you have no idea how Elden Ring actually is. No one really does have any idea how Elden Ring actually is, right? It's great. Because it could be what the the best Elden Ring game for somebody like you. Oh, oh! Tell me no more than it looks brutal. Oh God, yes! Hurt me more. Just hurt me more. Fuck yes! Oh God! Back off, bitches! You guys want my, my health okay god damn holy shit i'm so excited i just want another level up before i die again please You know what it is? These enemies are dropping shit when they die on the floor, and that's fucking demolishing my health. Like, look right there. The shit on the ground is demolishing my health. That's what sucks about it. They like They get this this air of because we created this game, we're superior to and we know the, the game this is my favorite one. One of these developing development companies said the gamers don't know what they actually want. We'll put this in the game and then they'll hate it. And it's like then put it in the game, we'll hate it, and you can say I fucking told you so. Or or you can put it in the fucking game, change it for the better, and people will praise you for it, you fucking cocksnot. We died so fast there. We died so fast there, like holy shit. There goes some of my fucking experience. Damn it. So see, what's so cool about the Arch Nemesis system is how you see we were uh, used in two undiscovered recipes. The best part is there's a couple of these that we know, like right here, Frost, Flame, and Storm Strider. Wait, Haste it also works for other shit too. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't. All right, that bait. Okay, so here's how this fig like figuring out the recipes once you kind of know what to do is like all right Hasted goes in nothing more So we can take hasted off the list. So berserker Berserker is very dangerous to deal with though, but like say we wanted to figure out what berserker goes for Could be maldiction uh, Not stormweaver, but like You'd go down the list. Basically, it's like playing fucking Minesweeper. But you're trying to... to No, you're trying to... Yeah, you're trying... Yeah, it's like playing Minesweeper. That's the best way I could word it. Exactly. Hell, um... Shroud was recently, I don't know if they went on a rant or they just bitched about it for a little bit, but Shroud 
I heard I uh, was reading an article about how they were talking about uh, season passes, the season pass meta. How like at this stage, they're over the season pass meta. They miss how you used to be able to like play the game, earn currency, and buy whatever the fuck you wanted because now you have like the way the season passes are set up. It makes you feel obligated to play the game. Like oh, I gotta play the game for the season pass to get all the shit that I want to get. And I was thinking about it, and there, for me, I agree completely with that statement. Like, I remember back then you would just grind out the game, grind out the game, get the currency, and then buy whatever the fuck you wanted. But now they have these season passes, and it's like... That's one of the reasons why I, I, I really do enjoy the game, don't get me wrong. But another reason why I play it is I like it in combination with the season pass rewards, right? And I play differently how I would normally play a little bit based on trying to get that shit for the season pass. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to play the damn game. I'm going to ignore the season pass in the future. Maybe I'll play better as a result. And I won't have the thought of a season pass and, and bother me subconsciously, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Because this is what they do. The developer will see this character's OP and stop right there, but they won't go on to read this player's or this, this character's OP because so, 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 and so. Right? And that's just a shame. That's sad. That game, the Dead by Daylight style, has cre it's a created a new... The Itrometric style. It's created a new genre of game. Right? Honestly, it's kind of funny. One of the things that, um... I almost prefer, like... I almost prefer games that have developed... Okay. Dwarf Fortress. The developer for Dwarf Fortress is a complete and utter badass. The reason I say this is because for the past, like, 16, 17 fucking years they've been making the game, it's been free, and only recently did are they going to have the free version in combination with the premium version you can get on Steam, right? Like, you'll be able to play the... the the ASCII version of the game, what have you. But, there's gonna be an official tile set they're making for that game. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. The biggest thing to keep in mind is if you were to go to the Steam page, in the Steam page, the page fl pr flat out says, it'll be ready when it's ready. No, no bullshit fucking early access no fucking nothing like that the game is going to be ready when the game is going to be ready got another emperor's luck cool the idea of the game is fantastic for sure Kind of like how, uh... What's the name of that game? Day R. No, not Day R, idiot. Um... It's the game that created BRs. Day Z, Day Z mod. I don't know where I got Day R from. Anyways, the Day Z mod, that created Battle Royale. Which, think about that for a minute. A mod to a video game. How many mods to video games become actual games at some point in the future? Probably a crazy amount. What did I say? What did I do? Flattered, I promise. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, we died. Shit. I meant earlier. We, well, we died there too, damn it, but we died earlier and, uh. And it messed up all of our shit. That's why we were having such difficulty. Anyways. Yeah, exactly. These these games that cr are created for mods are fantastic. Like, we wouldn't have Apex Legends. We wouldn't have Fortnite without fucking DayZ. And it's sad because I think a lot of people forget that. Or, or they don't believe it. And it's like, PUBG was the first official VR that was made by the same people who made the DayZ BR mod. So, like, at least that's who was working on it at first. One of them came, one of them came out. I know it from DayZ. It might have been Arma. Hell, it might have been Arma 2. But where it was at least pop, like, popularized from was definitely DayZ. Other than that, I have no idea. It could be either or. The point I'm trying to make is it was a mod first. Holy shit. That was a low health bar. I need to keep my out for divine flasks. Great. Because I'm pretty sure I can't make. Anyways. <clears throat> what did I say? What did I do? I flattered. I promised. I bared my skin and sold to my beloved Adzari. I did everything but offered to die for her. Is that where I went wrong? That's a shame. Fireball? No way. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, shit. How does this even work? How does that even work? I made a joke. I made a joke a couple streams ago about finding Vol Cyclone. How the fuck does that even work? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to get it leveled up. We need to get this gem leveled up. Because our current Cyclone gem is at level 13. No. At level 16. And because it's at level 16, we get plus. If you look in the up above my head, you'll see a 6 on that screen. That 6 means the effectiveness of the, the stages of Cyclone, right? And. Where is it? 8% increased area of effect per one additional melee strike range. Uh, 5% increased area of effect, yada, yada, yada. First hit deals 50% less damage. Gains one stage every 0.2 seconds while channeling. Maximum six stages, plus one to radius per stage. Ball! This, I don't even fucking... What does that even do? It's like a cast thing. Spin it and attack in place, damaging nearby enemies and pulling others towards you. While using this skill, you cannot be stunned or knocked back, cannot be supported by Ruthless. That might not be that good, but we're going to test it out and see. Q yeah, MMR. MMR in general needs to be reworked entirely. MMR in general needs to be reworked entirely. Cause like just look at the ranked mode of apex legends i'll get like 
it feels again, mind you, this is just how it feels right now, but it feels like I'm getting into fucking games where everyone's out of their fucking mind. I'm decent, but my teammates are like fucking brain dead mongs. Is this the boss fight arena? Boss fight arena. Okay, I'm gonna focus up. Probably gonna. Oh god, I'm gonna lose all my experience. Is there a way for us to get 10% of our experience back? Fuck it. We have 90% experience. Keep this mind in mind, because every time this amount in mind, because every time we die, we lose 5% of it. Yeah, exactly. Can you not get achievements if you do it in a group with people? Yeah, insta-kill. That's great. Love it. Love it. I mean, you've made yourself so much weaker now by adding more enemies. Now that he's by himself, we're fucked. Summon more of your brothers, damn it. You fucking elemental cock sucking cunt. Resists chaos and then general in general elemental resistance. Nope, we need to dodge that. Because it's frost damage and that's what we're weakest against. Thank you! Thank you! Nope, don't thank you. Balls. The balls are pissing me off. The elemental balls of dumb. Fucking A. How much experience did we just lose? 19% of our experience? Fuck off. Ugh. Yugul was a cautionary tale. The only way to truly understand fear is to become it. What do you do? Oh, wow. How f fucking useless. 
Maybe not, but useless. <sighs> okay. Well, whatever. We got the optional god killed. What is that? What does that do? Killed. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. First things first. Is that really the only one? Wow. Nope, there's more. But they're all the way up north. That's damage. Energy shield. I need increased energy shield to do the electrical blade, but I don't have a lot of ways to get to it. Might not be able to do energy shield shit. That's okay. Got you. Oh, well, what we're going to do is we're gonna probably continue with the main story tomorrow yeah tomorrow uh holy shit we gotta deal with that asshole and that asshole as well but we're gonna do some inventory cleanup first and then i'm probably gonna step away to get a thing of warm tea and switch to let it die for a couple of hours God. A day and a half. Oh, really? Show me what you got. So it was that bloody scholar after all, was it? Sick bastard. Well, he's gone now. And I hope you made sure he suffered like those poor kiddies he tormented. I'd have toasted him nice and slow like a spitted pig. See how it like them apples stuffed in his mouth. Here, have something for keeping us safe from the divine undesirables of this world. Is it a perk point? It, it's better be two. Fucking nice. Don't do anything I would. There you go. Oh, look who spent uh 20 bucks to get that on their weapon. Nice. Oh, we got beast. We have yet to honestly. You're one of the few people that have actually. So it was that. Done well, like forged from ragey rants, in my chat. Okay. No, I want to sell, not buy.
Well, I mean, gotcha. You enjoy Stay math. The I was gonna say, from what you said, you'll be able to fucking find out how difficult it is to make decent MMR, because you yourself are gonna fucking set up a new system. I heard. I'm all for that. I gotta check something out really quick because if not, I'm about to I'm about to be pissed. The just goddess presides over us all. The future of the empire rests in her even hands. Oh shit! We can do the cruel labyrinth. We can get a couple more perk points. Hell shit! Ascendancy perk points are different than uh, regular perk points. You can only get ascendancy perk points by doing ascendancy things. Uh, we can finish up increased critical strike chance and physical damage. And then blitz. 2% more attack speed per blitz charge. 8% reduced critical strike chance per blitz charge. Gain a blitz charge on critical strike. And 20 to maximum blitz charges. So, our attack speed can go up by 40%. Unfortunately, our blitz charges will get reduced how many they do it because of critical strike chance. However, if we have this 300% increased critical strike chance, though, uh, we have, I think, six points available. No, what is it? It's eight in total. So we could do life leech and then defy plane pain. Gain defiance for 10 seconds on losing life to an enemy hit. No more than once every 0.3 seconds. 25% increased armor per defiance, 50% increased maximum total life recovery per second from le leech while you have defiance. At 10 defiance, take reflected physical damage equal to maximum life, then lose all defi defiance. Might, might be bad, though. We could also say fuck it and then go for a... Blitz Savage Slaughterer. Holy shit, hold on. Six percent increase attack speed, ten percent increase physical damage. Gain one rage on hit with attacks no more than once every point three seconds, ten plus to maximum rage. Inherent effects from having rage are plus 1% increased attack damage per 1 rage, 1% increased attack speed per 2 rage, 1% increased movement speed per 5 rage. Maximum rage is 50. You lose run 1 rage every half second if you have not been hit or gained rage recently. More increased attack speed and damage. Lose 0.1% of life per second per rage while you are not losing rage inherent effects from having rage are tripled we cannot be stunned while we have at least 25 rage oh god this is the ascendancy stuff is difficult to decide what we want to do with it Because the other one is... Hold on. I don't- I don't know about Defy Pain. Aspect of Carnage. Take 10% increased damage. But we do 40% more damage just overall not physical damage not just just 40% more damage is that worth it
I don't know. We'll have to figure that out later. Um, I'm glad I checked that out, actually. I was worried that I, for some reason, the uh, Ascend Energy Trial glitched out and I didn't get it. The Ascend Energy Trial glitched out and I didn't get it, but we're good. What's awesome about these unset rings is they add one gem to our our person. You're right. I can't either. Oh. So there are better life flasks that fuck. Bring me back something nice, huh? Because a sanctified mana has 1100 mana recovery, a divine mana flask has 1400, and it requires level 60, and we can only get it from a drop. As far as I can tell. Unless it requires something else. You get in there. Nope. Stay out of the shadows. Damn. They bite. How you doing? Bring me back something nice, huh? Damn you. Our stash is getting filled up. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with all these flasks and shit. This gem right here, this crimson jewel right here, I want. Reduced mana cost of skills, increased effect duration, and 4% increased mana reservation efficiency skills. Tell you. Also, the more I think about it, the more I'm realizing. We're gonna have to I think we're gonna have to do some funky shit. of regret and change some things around we can't use shield or i mean we probably can use shield energy shield but to utilize the electrical weapon right to utilize the electrical weapon we have energy blade 444 energy shield we have half as much energy shield so, I don't know what that means exactly. Like, would we still have 222 energy shield? 
and energy blades have 14 to 251 lightning damage. It's a buff, lowers energy shield, transform your equipped weapons into swords formed from that energy. Casting the spell again removes the buff, requires a non-bow weapon. Skill cannot be triggered. So that means if we have 444 energy shield, it just activates. Got it. I should focus more on life leech in all honesty. I think. There's a couple of other things that I could focus on, but like life leech probably is the biggest one. We need more health in general too. Increase damage while leeching life. That'll be big. Sorry for laughing, but Sewer Slurping Whore is a new one for me. Damn. That sucks. Hey, creativity is a great thing to have. I'm gonna, I'm probably, you know what I'm probably gonna end up doing, honestly? I'm probably just gonna get as many resettable points as possible and then rebuilding this build. Because, well, I'm gonna play with this build some more, but I'm gonna figure out exactly what I want and how I wanna do it. Because I think I want more health. I mean, we have a lot of attack, but... Eh, we'll see. We'll see how it works out for us. We have like 20th... Right. Wait, how many do we have? 36 more points with levels. And how many ever we get with... Uh, rewards. Don't do anything I would. Yeah, it seems like that game suffers from public matchmaking, unfortunately. I'm going to use the Orbit Regrets to get rid of that and pop that one. I just realized that'll make us so much more stronger. Okay, how many orbs? Do we have any orbs of regret? We should have a bunch, right? Oh god, we don't. Oh god, we don't. Can we buy orbs of regret? Yes. I don't think so. We can't. Watch yourself. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Right. 
great. Yeah, even I knew that much. If you got unhooked, you ran away. You didn't just stand around doing nothing. Reservation Mastery. I really do need to mess with Reservation Mastery just a little bit. I mean, I am using swords. Impale with okay, we might try and go with an impale build with these swords if it works when we do spin to win and I think it does Anyways, we'll figure out the cyclone build stuff later. Uh, how's my stuff look? Let's put stash away That gem is gonna be useful for me Um, we have this quest and this quest to do, which will more than likely be done tomorrow, probably be on the Act 9 tomorrow, just in time for us to take a small hiatus for Elden Ring. Uh, for those of you that have managed to make it the entirety of the playthrough, seven hours, uh... Hold on. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. People, they're probably, this is what, this is how bad the MMR probably is. It's probably that bad that that was a brand new player. Like, that was probably their second or third game. Anyways. For those of you that are new to the channel, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this one as well as my main channel. Uh, uploads to the main channel are a bit sporadic because I like to upload an entire series and currently I'm working on Neo and then upload them, like post them one at a day. We're about to get to the stage where I can start uploading like a video that gets edited and then uploaded immediately. Um... You can catch me when I go live on Twitch at 6 p.m. EST EDT every single day for the year of 2022. Links in the description below via streaming links or all my links. It doesn't matter which one you use. They're both there just in case one or the other goes down. Uh, everything's there, though. Like, everything I mentioned previously. And a link to the community Discord where you can talk to like-minded individuals. And always get notified of when I do go live. With all that said and done, however, that is going to be it from me for the time being. So until next time, YouTube, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.